What's up, everybody? It's Jelani here for Finding Wild Man. We're also here joined by Collier. We are doing the Wizarding World in review for Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2. Okay, I'm just going to yeah. ask you this real quick. Yes, what's up? If you were to rename this movie, what would you properly name it? Because uh, I'm pretty sure me and you got the same idea. Harry Potter and the Bottle of Four Hogwarts. For me, it would be uh, Harry Potter and the Hunt for the Holocruxes. The Horcruxes? Hunt for the Holocruxes. Part one the and part two. You keep saying Holocruxes. You're thinking Holocaust. Horcrux. Oh, Horcrux. Yeah. Oh. I know they're Nazis, but you need to calm down. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm thinking holo, like hologram. We are going over all the movies in the Wizarding World. I knew you said universe, but that doesn't make any sense. Wizarding World. All the way up interview. to... That includes all the Harry Potter films and Fantastic Beasts films, leading up to Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald. <sighs> so, we got Harry Potter and Death Note. Part 2 here. Released July 15th, 2011. Half a year after the first one. Part 1. Oh, yeah, that's, it did come out so quick. Because they did back to they did back, back filming. Mm -hmm. Directed by David Yates, again. You can tell. Yeah. Uh, a runtime of two hours and ten minutes. Okay, this time it didn't even feel like it because so much was happening. Well, ten minutes of that is also like credits, so like, well, you just yeah. skip that. Like, all right, cool, I need to watch all these. I mean, just feel like I was watching like uh, your standard Avengers movie. I guess it's like because it was like more entertaining than the first one. It was like something ah! happened. Something was happening. Uh, production budget of two hundred fifty million. Same numbers last time. Yeah. Well, of course, that's like all. Let me guess. That's why I just said it like that. Uh, they didn't make back more than 90 this time. Worldwide gross of $1.3 billion. All right. See, first, finally first breaking they're making, that threshold. They're finally, they're, all the other ones they're making hand over fist money. This one is fuck you money now. This yeah. Is cool. This is why we keep doing this. <laughs> that means the conclusion. So, you know, it's like, okay, of course it's going to make the most. It's like, see, all the other MCU people have been watching the Avengers. It's like, of course, that's why it makes $1.5 billion. All yeah. That. Well, not even $2 billion. Because it's all... Because it's all leading up to it. Yeah. But, man, that... Ugh, the one before, the freaking part one was, like, set up for, like, a sequel. And it's, like... At this point, it's, like... For me, it's, like, I just need to watch this to wash this taste out of my mouth. Because it's just... Blah. That's funny. You're so terrible. Everyone, you'll have to forgive me if I have fewer Easter eggs than usual. I had less time to prepare for this. And then less time to watch this movie. Which, why I seem kind of tired right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah... Here we are. I'm pretty sure I killed the mic with that first intro. I did not mean to be that loud, but I went loud with it. Uh, so you enjoyed this movie? Oh yeah, I enjoyed this one more than the first one. Actually, I think I this mean, might but be yeah, but, top. but you enjoyed the movie. Oh yeah. Okay, it was like you're saying you enjoyed more than the first one. And I was like, all right, cool. That's number six on our list. It's not hard to do. <laughs> or seven. Well, no, I mean not, not the first Harry Potter, but it's probably gonna be like somewhere on the top four. Let's see. Oh, it's number five on our list. Yeah, we put. It I spit a bus towards stone. I still personally think it should be number six, but I digress. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, are we, uh, what are we, what are we doing here? Um, I have no, do I have, yeah, Easter, yeah. Do I have I don't think you have any other, here? let me see here. Do I have any Easter eggs before we get started? Fucking, uh, fucking Dan Ratcliffe broke or reportedly, I um, mean, reportedly broke 80 wands throughout the franchise because he mainly used them as drumsticks. Yeah, so. So hmm. be just, you know, and they break. It's like, cool. Uh, what else do I fucking got here? Fucking, what the fuck? Uh, everything else can be read up as we go along. So, uh, should we get started with this? Yeah, but, go Okay, so, first off, we start off at a grave. It's literally the last scene of the last movie. I mean, yeah, that's, that's it's, it. It's the exact that we take <laughs> It is literally, like, previously on Harry Potter. <laughs> I mean, it's somehow we take place before the last movie ended. That's... That's something. I gotta say. That's something. They're kind of insulting. But whatever. We go there. And cool. Voldemort has the other one again. But not <gasps> but only for the first time. But again, in the sense that the second time in this franchise, first time in this. It's like, hey, just in case you life. forgot what happened in the last movie. I mean, here you the go. The first 10 minutes of this movie are that. Because then they're exploding. The people are just talking, like, yeah, we just saw that. Like, what happened to the elf? It's like, we, well, we cut to his grave, so we know he's buried. Here lies Dobby. He was a free elf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Harry's there. And then fucking. You go back to this cottage floor. I mean, not floor. Well, floor is there, but Luna's there. There, and you just see floor and Vilma's like, "What the fuck? What yeah. are you, you guys doing here?" He's like, "Oh yeah, the I still in this place." Man, he always seems like a safe house. Just like, well, well, cool. Um, you know who we've been known to 
Good to know. All three of them. Yeah. But apparently, Ron knew. That's why he said, hey, we should go here. It's like, after the wedding was attacked, shouldn't we have, like, all right, cool. We had to be in the they, first place? Yeah. The order, this is like their safe house. Cool. Bounce out. We can help that place go here. That's how That's how safe houses work. What the fuck? Uh, you know. But it saved them a lot of time and struggle. Because the plot demands it, that's why. Ugh, <laughs> Christ. Was J.K. You said J.K. Rowling was in in particular for the rest of her movies, right? So yeah, she's she producer. Should, so she should have had like some. Well, didn't get this part like her flaw. Like, oh, why didn't I do that? I don't know. This is in the book. It was in the book. It was like this in the book. They didn't go there in the first place. In the, they wandered around, then came here. Huh, okay, so it was also a flaw within the book. Chilling out, fucking all of it. Uh, okay, so got, Harry walks in. I need to see the goblin. He goes upstairs. There's the first goblin. Once again, it's the first goblin from the first movie. That he helps him into his vault or whatever, and then fucking... He said he needs to go into the vault. He needs to go to a stranger's vault because... Uh, and he's like, well... And then Harry's being coy, so the goblin's being coy. All right, cool. Being well, petty with one another. How do you get that story? It's complicated. Yeah. How she, uh... Why she thinks it's complicated. It's complicated, yeah. I, really? I mean, I, no, no, get... no, Colin, Harry's gonna do that. I'm gonna do it back to him, too, asshole. You're recording, right? The red button's off? Good. Yeah. Excellent. I need to make sure. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's forgotten... It's left to the wayside. Fucking, um... So, cool. He's like, Harry's like, I need, we need to get in. It's not possible with you. Which, well, what are you offering me? I got gold. Lots of gold. Apparently, like, still, Harry's fucking rich. And he said, I don't have no interest in gold. What do you want? That. I want the sword. sword. The sword that he can't wield because it's two times his size, but he wants it anyway. It's shiny, and it's like, cool. I mean, it is goblin made, but it's not a goblin artifact, but whatever. Yeah. Motherfucking, then we are like, um... We're on the way to the bank... I think I think we just go straight to the bank, right? Uh, they they establish that they have uh, no. They go to Ollivander. After that, they go in there and they're like they talk to her. It's like, well, there's a hook. They, he's like, there must be a hooker in there because she was freaked out that she thought we went into her vault. But then I'm like, well, even if there is, how are we going to destroy it now that you've given away the one thing that we can destroy it with? And he's like, I'm still working on that. It's like, I mean, that's an important thing to work on first, and also something you should probably discuss with your who we've been dragging around with you, Harry. Yeah. You know, but whatever. We're, we're figure it out as we go. And then, goddamn, uh, we go to Ollivander. They start talking about wands. Yeah, the elder wands. This is when they're doing, like, the recap of the things. Like, the oh, Deathly yeah. Hollows. And it's like, yeah, we, we know. We know. We saw the last Dude, one. there's a lot less Deathly Hollows in the... In what i just now realizing. Yeah. After all this time, John Hurt plays Ollivander. He's like, John Hurt's one of my favorite British actors. So it's like, oh, it's him! <laughs> I don't know why I didn't recognize that the first time or I watched this through or when we were going to do it this time. I was like, eh, he looks familiar. Well, he looks familiar because I've seen this movie before. It's like, I actually see him here and I can hear his more gravel voice. It's like, that's fucking John Hurt. My mom actually, uh, okay, when I was watching the scene, I had to pause it when we was at the bank. Um, mom was like, she looks familiar. Like, eh, you probably seen her like in other stuff. I'm like, yeah, she looks really familiar. I think I like her. I'm like, mm, probably you. Who? Uh, Beatrice. Oh, Bob Bar Carter? Yeah, and like I feel like I've seen her in other stuff too, but she's yeah. literally every Tim Burton thing ever. That is where you've seen her before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think like that and Fight Club. <laughs> I haven't seen Fight Club, but dev- oh no, one of it's like a a weird spooky like. Yeah. She just got this weird Halloween face. Yeah. And speaking <laughs> of that, we got so apparently we have some of her hair. How they got her hair, I don't know. Why Hermione got her hair? I, I mean, somehow I was she like, was close to her, but I was like, did, why did Hermione think to get wrap a piece of her hair? Who knows? It, it probably was just like on her clothing from the last thing. I don't know. Like, are you sure? Is it like I'm like, it's, I'm sure. I'm, they, I'm, they I'm do sure. It. She tra- she just pops these posters because and then just transforms her. Remember when this made took a month to brew? Yeah, they just bring it up real fast now. <laughs> I mean, they were kids. Wait, no, doesn't matter. It just takes a month. It takes a month to brew. <laughs> Now I was just like, you got Paul Yeah, we got that on st- we got that on stock. <laughs> I could go. Fucking... You already had some stuff brewing for like for months and months and months. <laughs> and then fucking she's Hel- uh, she transforms into a Bellatrix of Strange. They have to die Gon Alley. Hermione doesn't know how to be Bellatrix. The god the god starts freaking out. It's like, good morning. What's wrong with really? you? Really? <laughs> Bellatrix of Strange, that's some doughy eyed schoolgirl. And it's like, yeah, I get him. I get where he's coming from. It's like, Me all too. right, don't blow the cover already. We just got here. Yeah. So, monsters just, like, take the sword and split all of our throats. <laughs> so now we're headed to the bank. Yeah, we're headed to the bank, and we're... And she's still not acting like Bellatrice. She's trying her best. Trying her best. best. They're onto it. But luckily... Yeah. 
When okay, here's something. When Harry, Harry Ron Hermione in her Green Gods narrating in the beginning, Hermione has taken an apology question and disguised herself as Bellatrix Lestrange. Before the scene was shot, Emma Watson acted out the scene for Helen Bond and Carter so she would know how she would act if she were Hermione. So in this situation, essentially, the scene is Carter acting like Watson, who's acting like Hermione, who's acting like Bellatrix. <laughs> I st- <laughs> I'm I was- a dude playing the dude disguised as another dude. Dude, no. I was telling my mom about that scene, too. It's like, okay, so this right here is this actress playing the uh, the little girl who's also trying to play her, who's playing the character. <laughs> like, what? And then that literally came to me, like, the dude playing the dude disguised as another dude. I'm like, wow. Just... Yeah, so yeah, they... They it's great. They, they're newly discovered. They've gone and said, hey, we need, to get, we need to get her wand. For, I, you know, for verification, identification. You must have about luckily, Harry Which Potter. Which I thought was like, I mean, they got the wand and I realized, oh, wait, no, they just want to get her unarmed because they know it's not her. Yeah, so they, they were, they're they armed. They have a suspicion it's not her, at least. Yeah. So they're like, cool. They're going to go like, hey, they know it's her. We need to get out. They're like, hey, Ron's sitting there. By the way, good look for Ron. I got to say. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, he just has a disguise on. It's not body it, He's just like it's he just has a disguise. Like, yeah, it, it looks. Yeah. It comes up more of his dumb face, so I like it. I know. <laughs> and then that fucking uh, Harry uses the Imperial curse. It's like cool. That's two out of three, which also uh, they, they technically in the books. I, I know I hate saying it, but they did cut something out from the last one, which you think would have put up the desperation of Harry when trying to break the locket. He did use the killing curse on it. That he got to use it when remember when they were just yeah. You know, he used a bottle of cadaver on it and then still it didn't break. Why yeah. did they not put that in the movie? It's that was in a deleted sh- scene. It's in a deleted scene. All that would literally it show would show more the, desperation. It was like, it was like desperation and like it's like why? Like, no, no, I didn't talk to you. Just, 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 just like a bottle of cadaver. It's like just, how how you already have a two and a half hour movie. I mean, what, I, what, what I, I can even imagine. I can even imagine just like him thinking about this like. I mean, maybe because they didn't want to have maybe. I'm gonna get down for you. You want her here to do this whole dark side thing? And it's like, no, I mean, like, I understand it. I mean, hey, he's already getting in, tapped into the mind. He's of, already used. He's already seen he's already Voldemort used a use a bottle cadaver like thirteen times already. He's used like, a torture what? curse and literally took control of someone. Crucio. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, yeah, I, it's like, dude, I would, to, He's trying to. That would him. put. That would set an entire. That would probably like raise. My enjoyment for that movie a little bit more if you would have did that. Yeah. Like wow, that shows a it shows a true desperation. And that probably would have been like the very first time that he would have tried and probably successfully done it within no, his didn't. first go. I would have been like, whoa, okay, well, dude, no, he slow didn't. down. He didn't. It didn't work. The lock is still alive. Yeah, I, I know, but the fact that he actually did the curse and it worked on the first time, like, okay, dude. I, I mean, Chris, I mean the curse worked. Crucio huh? worked. It didn't rebound, so it worked, but it just. Didn't have he didn't have any healing in it. Mm. He was still a good person. Like now you've got to mean it. Yeah. I mean yeah. So uh, yeah, they take control of the uh, head guy. It's like all right, cool, come with me, and they just start walking away. I mean, that security guard also moving very slowly at them. I was like, you think as a security, you might want to just be like, hurry up. All right, come here, go with me. But you know whatever. So they go. They're riding down the fucking. Universal Harry Potter ride. I mean, uh, it's uh, Green Gods. I'm the Gyro thing. Yeah, the Universal Harry Potter ride. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it's modern off of that, too. And then, I've never been on it. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that as a joke. And then if they're going there. They see a water ball. What's that? And the guy keeps his mouth fucking shut. And then they go through it. And it's like, oh, look. It, 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 thieves, uh, thieves downfall. It gets rid of all curses. They drop... Her money saves her la- again. At the last moment, freaking what was it? A- oh. Again, momento arresto or something? Uh, uh, arresto, or, I don't know something. Arresto momento. It, yeah, arresto. It makes them stop for it, and then they. Yeah, fall, yeah. It kills that momentum they have because otherwise they all would have fucking died right there. Yeah. And uh, oh look, Hermione's no longer in apologies. Ron's disguise is gone. The cloak of invisibility is, I guess, it's still just Harry's back pocket. I don't know where he's keeping all this shit. Maybe it's in Hermione's back. Who knows? But anyway. They'd be they be walking. They, they hear a creature roar. All right, cool. They go around. Guess what? It's a fucking dragon. Because it's, <laughs> Cause why not? They got to have a dragon in there. They got these little bells. And it's been trained. If it hears this, it's going to get pain. Hermione's asked for a bear. Because like, it keeps the dragon at bay. Yeah. Like, well, I'm sure a better plan. You know, all those barbaric taking control of someone against their will. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> we ain't going to the vault. The other guy, just have him slap his hand on there. And fucking open it up. Dragon breathes fire. But it misses everyone. They're in, they're in the... <laughs> 
stone bottle of Carter's bolt. <laughs> Bell takes her stranger's bolt, and she's got all the gold in the world. Trying to look around, what is it? Harry's just around, like until he can hear a little <laughs> and start feeling pain. It's right there. It's the goblet. That is Helga Hufflepuff's goblet. Helga Hoga. Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff. Yes. The last one. Well, yeah. The locket was Salazar Slytherin's locket. If you're not getting a, if you're not getting enough on here. He took the artifacts of each house and then made them a horcrux, except for sort of Gryffindor because he couldn't find it because it's it, only uh, it only presents itself to worthy Gryffindors and he was a Slytherin, so mm. it was, it, no matter what he did, he could never find that sword. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh my gosh! It makes sense. Yeah. So wait, okay, so locket of Slytherin. Yeah. Goblet of Hufflepuff. Yeah. The diadem. Tiara of diadem. Ravenclaw. Diadem. Diadem of Ravenclaw would have been a sort of Gryffindor. So it would have been would also would have made him really immortal because you can't destroy that sword. Exactly, because it that takes on... What makes it strong. It, it makes it stronger. Yeah. Then it, also, it won't be able to get destroyed itself. It won't rust. It doesn't take on rust to dirt. She's like, yeah. So you, if you, if, imagine, if you will, the world where Voldemort found that sword. It's like, oh, cool. This is definitely mine. <laughs> okay, so there were seven Horcruxes. Yes. Because I, I, I was like freaking like going down the list in my mind. Tom Riddle's Diary. Okay, the, the diary, the his, ring, his mother's ring, the the, uh, the locket, the, the Slytherin. locket. We, we got that. Um, uh, freaking the, the goblet of Hel- uh, the goblet. All right, the diadem, t- diadem, tiara yeah. thing. Nagani. The huh? Nagani. The, the snake and Harry. Harry, I, yeah. dude. Okay, like you're, you're we'll, we'll get there. We'll, 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 we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> anyway, so. So, they're going there, and Hermione bumps into something. And then everything like, just starts. Like, why Hermione? You have the clutch right over there. Why did Hermione have to do it? But whatever. I, I'm not sure if you noticed this in this movie, or at least in, I'm not sure about the book, but in the movie, they, I think they kind of dumbed down Hermione a little bit. It's like, yeah, because she would she can't keep, she can't keep solving all their problems. She would have uh, solved. She would have just solved this entire movie like in she has to, two less She hours. has to fall for Ron at some point. It'd be dumb enough to do that, so they have to dumb her down. <laughs> so, cool. All right, every, everything's multiplying because they get the Gemini curse. Harry's like, fuck it, I gotta get to that fucking cup. He's trying to climb up there. It's all going crazy. It's all going crazy. There's so many, there's so many things here. He finally, he uses he the sword, it and, uses the gets sword it, it, and, and then, then everything stops. Fucking sword, the cup flies to the goblet or whatever. He gets it to, to cup for the sword. He throws him the sword, cuts him the cup. Cool. He said, I help you get in. Uh, Never said about anything. Get out. out. Man, he gets out. Mm-hmm. And then, I, how the heck did they get out too? They, what did they do? What? The goblin? No, the kids. We'll, we'll get there. The goblin, he walks out with the other one. He does the same thing. He's like, help these, these. Because he looks <laughs> like a goblin. They're not going to realize. He's like, all right, cool. Just start shooting at him. Fucking the other one, though, gets burned alive. Because he's yeah. still in the grip. Um, still in the I was like, does it make you high? <laughs> that, that's what it looks like. He's like, why was he able to control me? He's like, hey, come with me. It's just like, it's just like what the fuck? So he gets burned alive. Hermione's like, all right, cool. Uh, do something drastic. We had to do something drastic to get out. Well, Ron's like, do you have any ideas? I'm like, cool. I got one. Reducto, she jumps on the fucking dragon. And <laughs> no, it, wait, how did they get out of their room? With the gold pile in. Oh, yeah, because yeah, they just like... No, no, no. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if he ever... Op- did he close the door behind him? That's what I was under the I impression think, I, I just opened it. I'm not sure if he closed it. Yeah, I think you have to close the, the next door. scene because you have to have his, you have to have his hand there. So I think I, just, I my, to my knowledge, he never closed the door. He just yeah. escaped. That, that's what I'm thinking too. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he was yelling these these behind him. He was like, yeah, yeah. So he, I guess he was like under the like never help you get out of just like this dungeon. I was thinking like the well, room. maybe because he had to, knew he had to move. Well, I'm pretty sure, yeah, so whatever. Anyways, anyway, we're hopping on the dragon. We got the magic. Hermione's plan was to release a dragon into this world. That was the plan. I was like, all right, that. Might be a bad thing later, but <laughs> okay. They fucking bust up through the bang. I mean, tell you, so many people, so many people died here. Goblins. People, goblins are people. Yeah. They be dead. Things are broke. That's a lot of money. Just use all the, the, the gold from Bellatrix's screen. They fly thing. off, right? And they're eventually just down there somewhere. He's like, all right, cool, we're lowering. Um, what, what's the plan? Jump. Win. Now. <laughs> they go in the water. I mean, or you could have just pe- waited till the dragon decides to land. You know, you don't know when or where that is. And you don't know how long it is until that dragon's been on, underground for a while. He can want to fly like until his, the, the rest of his days. <laughs> well, the, He's this finally he, free. 
Well, they say he was luring. Like, hey, we're going down. Like, well, isn't that a good Probably thing? Probably going to lure to, like, get, like, a cow or something. Just, like, oh, and just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Um, oh, okay. No, yeah, I, I see the danger. They're like, okay, he's landing. All right, and then he turns. Oh, so you don't, like, oh, you hey, don't want to land. I'm hungry. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna eat y'all. You don't want to land with the dragon. That's not where you want to be. <laughs> but I was uh, thinking, like, hey, the, dra- the dragon probably could have been used to them because, like, hey, you freed me. No, nah, because Hermione. I am now in your debt. <laughs> uh, to get to fly, Hermione also, also inflicts pain on it again. She blasts its tail. That's why, he, like, remember, it gets on the bank and it just kind of sits there. Oh, she, yeah. She blasts its tail to get up. So it's like it's not exactly friendly with him yet. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anywho. And also, you don't want to take that risk. Um, so, so now they're... Harry's underwater, and then he's just flashing Voldemort. I was like, did Harry pass out underwater? No, he's awake doing it. He's still swimming. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, Voldemort was active, literally there. So I'm not sure how much time it's taken. Apparently, all that, like, is a day, like 24 hours. This entire movie takes place, like, in 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah, so it's... Voldemort got to that thing really quickly, and he just pissed off. It is literally like the training he know, day he know, of videos. He knows what's up. He knows these guys are trying to horror cruxes. Mm-hmm. And they're, I'm like, I'm pretty sure he killed every, if like, there's some survivors at that bank, he killed all, he killed all of them. Including that little goblin dude. And then his yeah. sword just kind of vanishes away from him. And he's talking again. He's like, you need to keep you safe. It's like, alright, cool, the snake's one of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, is the snake up? Because I wouldn't, I was under the impression that these horror cruxes was just items. I would have never even thought that a horcrux could be a living thing, something organic. I would have never thought that. So that was pretty. Yeah, it's really weird the way that the Lord describes it to Harry. Like when Harry can horcrux, like he had a spell rebound it. So like when making a horcrux, it rebound to the nearest living thing. I was like, isn't Voldemort like the nearest living thing? If I mean, no, no but, like it? to make no. I mean, when he tried to kill Harry with that curse, was like, but. The other, like, majority of these horcruxes have been inanimate objects, so, yeah. like, why wasn't it, I don't know, Harry's crib or anything else Or Harry's baby it. picture. Like, or the family it, picture. It could have been anything there. It's like, now the Lear's living thing. Why? I don't know. But, <laughs> whatever. And also, wait, wait, no. What the, oh, no. He was doing the Avocadaver curse. Is that how you make things horcruxes? Just killing. Yeah, just, oh, that's gonna be her. No, no. I, but he said when she threw herself in the way of her, that it rebounded. So, oh, that's right. In order to make a horcrux, you have to, you have to murder, you have to, and murder. that helps split the soul. Yeah. So I'm guessing he was trying to murder Harry Potter. He tried to murder. She got in the way, and and it's like it just rebounded. Like, oh well. And I saw it with the protection for love and all that thing. That's the ancient magic. You know what they talk about in the first movie. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what yeah. helped it rebound, and then fucking um, it, it just went to hell. The horcrux, like, fuck, I need to do something. So <laughs> part of the soul said, shit, and there it is. So he wasn't trying to make... No, he wasn't trying to. He was just trying to kill Harry. Yeah. And he just... For he why, accidentally made though? a horcrux. What? The why prophecy. Is he... Oh, the... wait, no. Wait, what? The prophecy. Okay. Dumbledore... This is where it doesn't make sense. Dumbledore was talking about this to Snape when it's when he did the pensive thing. Yeah, I know. About I know, the, but... the boy born at the end of July. Yeah. There are two of them, by the way. Two boys born at the end of July. The other and... one was Voldemort, right? No. The other one was Neville fucking Longbottom. Because technically, think about it. Who kills Voldemort? Who destroys that last Horcrux? Haha. Neville fucking Longbottom. <laughs> <laughs> Neville is the hero of this entire story. <laughs> it was Neville all along. Yes, there it was. Both, both things happened to the parents the same night. Voldemort went to Harry's parents, and then he sent Bellatrix to, to Neville's, Neville's parents. Yeah, and that's when they got tortured and everything. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. But that still doesn't make sense. Why did Voldemort needed the prophecy from freaking uh, Order because, of the Phoenix because, because the when he already but, knew the no, prophecy? He knew something about a boy defeating him by the end of July, but then he, the, the prophecy has changed as time has went on. So he needs to know it. He needs to pick, he needs to hear all of it. He heard something about a boy defeating him who was born in July. Cool. Every baby born in July is dying. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, like if we would have, like put two to two together, hey, what if it's the same boy that that's been used to bring me back to life? 
I mean, the one, who, the, the boy I mean, who actually, lived. I mean, that's already a at, prophecy on I mean, its own. At that point, too, he he was defeated by the baby born at the end of July. So that already happened. So now, time has been on. And now Voldemort has returned. So we know, hey, what's going to happen? How did he fall in the first place? Voldemort? Yeah. That, when the spell rebounded. Oh. So the Vada Kedavra, Mon gets in the way, rebounds onto him, but mm-hmm. a piece yeah, of it goes... Yeah, he got hit and it was like... the. He accidentally, in that point, like I think in the moment of panic, actually made a different horcrux. Ah! Like, trying to get murder. So yeah, and then that's what it bounded the air. Like, well, I was already in the middle of like trying to kill, so let's go yeah. ahead and do this. Which is also why, and we cut to Goblin Four, he's all like, and when he's yeah. on the back of that guy's head because he's like trying. He has to find different ways to stay alive. Yeah. Anyway. So. So. They fucking up. yeah. They're cutting to him. He, Voldemort's killed everyone. He said, "Nigga, we have to keep you safe." They, so it turns out the that Harry all there too, by the way. And then Harry is like, um, "Cool, I see. I saw the last one was it has something to do with Ravenclaw, which means we have to go to Hogwarts." All right, cool. Uh, not safe. He's like, "We need a plan." It's like one of our plans ever worked out. I mean, Ron is on point with this no, one. Harry said, "One of our plans ever worked out." We go there and all hell breaks loose. I mean, yeah, I mean things happen, but your plans work out. You remember the first book when you guys stopped the guy getting the Sorcerer's Stone? Yeah, that worked out. Remember when you guys mm-hmm. went to Chamber of Secrets and then literally stopped that? Yeah, that worked out. I mean, remember when you, uh, you know, was you remember when to... you saved Sirius Black? Yeah, that worked, that worked out. Yeah. So Harry, a few of your plans have worked out. I'm just saying. Except for Frankie Diggory. Cedric Diggory. Cedric Diggory. Listen, that, that didn't work. There, out. there was no plan. There was to no plan. There there was no, no one knew that was happening. <laughs> Fucking, their plans work out. Let's work out all the time. It's just, you know, it doesn't work out in, like, their favorite. And not in the way he, in, not the way you envisioned it, but you worked, it worked out at all. It worked out. Fucking. <laughs> you guys, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, sure, we're just going to, they like, okay, we're going to go to Hogsmeade and then use one of the secret passages. They operate there and then this fucking screeching <laughs> cat. That's it. That's That was an alarm. It's a magical alarm. It's a, it's like a, it literally sounds like worse her face is like wall of cats where yeah. to actually have an alarm in her room if uh-huh. any intruder. That's what it sounds like. What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's a, Make it stop. I believe it's an apparition alarm based on, I mean, around Hogsmeade. I mean, Hogsmeade like, charm based on, on Hogsmeade. So like, if you know when they apparate in there, it's like, all right, cool. There's someone here. Yeah. So all, all the deputies come in and like, Bada! it's like, all right, cool. Like, Good Lord. Okay. It's like, he's one more. It's like you're having trouble controlling everything. You got all your, Deathy, they're just out here in this little town. It's like, come on, fucking moves. Just moves. I mean, but you're already taking the ministry, so he's probably made moves already. Uh, <laughs> fucking, so they're um, hiding, and then, uh, oh, hey, we get like, there's another alarm somewhere help. else. Don't know who they set that off, but whatever. They all, everyone over there, they, they're like, hey, old man, get in here. Says that to them. Uh-huh. <laughs> I said it like that. Like, Potter, get in here. Sounds like. They, 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 all, they all just run in, just dress this random voice. They said to Ron and Ryan they like, that look like, like Dumbledore. Yeah. Yeah. And then at that one, I was like, oh. I mean, is that? Technically, <laughs> technically, it is Dumbledore. It's just Aberforth, his brother. Yeah. That he's never mentioned. Yeah. He has a painting of his sister mm-hmm. that he never mentioned. Mm-hmm. And then we have this whole thing like, do you really know he's my like, brother? Yeah, he never mentioned me, his sister. He sent you guys on a suicide mission. It's like, why are you doing that? Because I believe in him. That's a boy's answer. And essentially, he says the same thing again, but it's just a little in bit a more different... expounded. It's yeah, like, I, believe, I believe in the man I knew. That's what he says after that. I was like, all right, cool. He said, you know what to do. He just sends the, the painting off. And the painting comes, and he's like, where's that go? Like, oh, also you see that he was the one on the other side of the mirror. He mm-hmm. was sitting Dobby. He's like, where's Dobby? He's dead. Buried him. He's like, like oh, I, I like oh, that elf. I like that elf. Fucking, um, you know who else like that elf? Me. You know, he's cool. He's all right. Yeah. Not in time with him. Anyway. So the painting's coming back. He's got someone with him. Yeah. Who is it? Painting openings. And Neville. holy crap, it's freaking Neville, Neville Long. Let me tell you, the glow up this kid has had. Yeah. That little fat little chubby Neville. Mm. Now, Jesus Christ. Dude, it's like Josh from he, Drake and Josh losing he, weight and growing yeah, up. Yeah, that's what I said after. They're like, the glow up was real. Man. So, yeah, apparently they even had this underground thing. Here's like, well, all the other passages are still, so they had to make this new tunnel. You know, we've been helping them out once in a while. He said, you got to watch out for the Crowers. Uh, they are the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teachers. They did, they did this. What happened? Why did they do that? Uh, today was a pre- was expecting the Cruciatus curse against first years. He refused. 
So he beat the shit out of him. Yeah. Yeah. Not fun. Not great. Yeah. I actually would have liked to see these guys and actually, you know, get oh, yeah, what you, was coming You also to got him. a view of, like, Snape looking over at a fucking, um... Yeah. Like, 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 it's, it's very militaristic now. Everyone's marching in uh, yeah, formation. Yeah, I'm like, um, and nah, I'm not, I'm not happy about this. Yeah. I was... Mm, but it was weird because conflicted feelings. About <laughs> I was <the> state. <laughs> I was so conf- it's like dude, because I was in in, in the uh, what was what was uh, the previous movie before the Palace, part one. Was it part one? The Palace part one. Did you have the previous movie? This is part two. So the I previous movie part one. No, okay, the one, the one before, before. Half Blood Friends. That one. Yes. The one I was I was on a roll with a conspiracy theory. Uh-huh. We'll get there. But man. I had conflicted feelings from that movie on forward up to this point. In who? So they so again, they go, go through the, the tunnel, tunnel. Sorry, they're going and we're the just seeing a motherfucker. They they open a door and they see literally all their friends from Hogwarts, including Cho, which friends. I thought was weird. Yeah, that, like, that was like, is that? Oh, oh, it is Cho. Wait, she's not a Gryffindor. Why is she in here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we, we gave her some speaking lines. Cool. Just sit there and the smile. there. Fucking Lavender's over there. Fucking Seamus is there making jokes. Dean's not there, but he does pop up later. Yeah. Um, right. Oh, hey, like, look what we found. Radio, it's... He's at Radio Remus at Harry's Return. Then you got the lightning has struck. struck. I repeat, lightning has struck. I'm like, Get it because of... Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> fucking clever. Um, fucking... All right, cool. What's the play, Harry? All right, we're looking for something. All right, cool. What are we looking for? I don't know. You know where uh, to look. Huh. You don't know where. That's how I'm, I know it's not going to go on. That's how That's it's nothing to go on. on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's got to be something with Ravenclaw. It's probably small and very easy to con- uh, conceal. Anyone guess it? And and shout it out to Luna. All right, now I have a question. Yeah? When did Luna get back? She was on the train. No, she wasn't. Remember, she was in the shack. Remember? She was in they were being held in the mouth for Oh, it. yeah. Then to the shack. Yeah. So at what point did Luna return to school? Within the month of the time at past no. of making public no. <laughs> get that bullshit out of here. I need you to recede. I... I need you to recede with the bullshit, sir. <laughs> yeah, let's I, be I honest don't, here. I don't honestly. I don't know, but it, hey, but and no. you know what? They didn't think about it in the book either. She just kind of there, and then just, why boom. is Luna here? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but no, shout off to her with her, you know, mm-hmm. random nonsense of just like. I also believe, oh, hey, I think I know a thing I'm not two. sure if Luna's a Ravenclaw or Gryffindor. Also, it's like, why is she... Uh, whatever. Who cares? Luna's a Luna. Luna's Luna. So she just knows. It's like, yeah, it's a, the, probably the lost diadem of... Uh, uh, of Ravenclaw or whatever. Like, what was what that? Uh, Moreno Ravenclaw. She like, just, the, what, he's like, what the bloody is a diadem? It's like a tr, but small. <laughs> small. Small. <laughs> like, cool. And, uh, and then so let's get, start with that. Jenny comes in the room. And Harry, it, they share a little moment there, and Ron says hi. He's like, I'm being fucking ignored. It's like, it's like she, there's only one Harry Potter. You got seven brothers. She's like, shut up. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I think Ron's nine at that moment. Like, she hasn't seen me in a month. In six she, months. Six months. Six months. She didn't see me in six months. Was it Jeannie also in that house with them? With the wedding? No. No. Uh, in the beginning? No. No. That okay. was Floor and Bill. Okay, okay, okay. Jenny was nowhere. No, because she was already in Hogwarts. T- Remember, she was on the train to Hogwarts after that's the right, house got attacked, right. which is what a logical student does, or any person. Okay. Probably your phone is oh. going off. And then, let me see. Okay, uh... Fucking, all right, cool. Snape's uh, summoning everyone to the, um... The Grand Room the, for The Great Hall, because yeah. he knows Harry's here. Yeah. So cool, and everyone marches over there, and then he's like, saying, All And right, then just cool. him just walking All right. through. And, and by the way, turning around. Did you see that one, one familiar actor in that scene in the background? Yeah. Who? Harry. No. I was, <laughs> I was talking about it all. So, the crowds, the, 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 the brother and sister are talking about here who have no speaking lines this entire movie. Also, that was the, the two behind Snape. Yeah, one of them, the dude on the left. Remember that lieutenant that uh, Theon had in Game of Thrones, the one who kept egging him on to do shit? There he is. Huh. The guy with a really deep voice. Yeah, him. Like, huh. Like, yeah, he's there. And no speaking lines. He's like, he's like, you can see his profile in one shot. I was like, is that? And then you see him crying like that. I was like, that's him. But they gave him nothing to say or do. Hmm. 
So fucking, um, he's trying to figure out where Harry is. He's like, anyone there holds information, you're going to be held accountable. I just want to say, knows just, where he is, is going to be held equally as guilty. I just want to say that whole thing with just him talking, it was, it was just great. I'll recommend. He can read me to sleep. I recommend it's great. Then fucking one soon step forward. Guess who it is? Fucking Harry Potter. He's like, you know, despite all your fucking um, all your fucking bullshit, you have a major defense problem. And all the order just walks in. The order just literally walks in the front door. It's like, where all the deputies you had it? <laughs> Good question, right? Yeah, they're they're all. Oh no, gone. they all they all just go through the uh, the tunnel probably. What the tunnel? Okay, cool. Where are the rest of the deputies in the school? Wait, in the school? Yeah. Death Eaters are outside. He has, no, he has Death Eaters in the school. In the school? Yeah, that's what remember on the radio they were saying that? they ha- he, Snape has Death Eaters within the school. No, I don't remember. Yeah. I just, I just remember the scene about the Death remember Eaters. Those, remember when they're marching the students in the first scene and Snape just looking at them in that weird open hallway? There are yeah. Death Eaters literally marching with the other kids on the side of them, R- riding them there. <laughs> I'm like, where is the rest of your staff? Oh, like, shit. Wait, 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 no. Okay, you say Death Eaters. I'm thinking of the... the yeah, I'm thinking of Dementors. Well, there are Dementors around the school, too. But we're going to get to that later. Okay. Uh, uh, fucking, as for the, the Death Eaters... Uh, don't know where they are. Don't know. Don't yeah, know. Fucking Harry's like, how... He's getting a little... Like, how dare you st- stand there where he stood? Tell them. Tell them how you killed them. And he takes out his wand. Everyone could out the way. And then and McGonagall's McGonagall's like, Hop. And here we go, right? Fucking... Where is it? Shaolin right? Showdown. The fight between McGonagall and Snape was considered to be changed into Potter against Snape. Instead, the idea was scrapped by J.K. Rowling, who insisted that the duel should involve the same characters as in the novel. She also, she as as she saw, this is a key moment for a Dame Maggie Smith's character, and I agree. It's much yeah. better now. Much, much, much better. Yeah, I, I would agree because she, she takes it out of the wall and he holds it right there and then and then she strikes first. <laughs> she strikes second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth, ninth, tenth. Knocks out the two crows and like in the background too and Snape flies the fuck off. She said, coward! <laughs> You okay, broke it. Then lights it up all the <laughs> all the great hall again. <laughs> oh man! Everyone and then, cheers, and then and then Harry starts uh, falling to the gr- ground, and then of course, Potter, as always, in Harry Potter, fashion. one girl screams, and then a second girl screams. Wasn't that one of the uh, twins? No. The other well, girl? one the, the third one is. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. But it, like, there's one girl you don't see her. They cut to the other girl. It's a young. I think she's like a first year, or second year, mm-hmm. and then they go to the third, to the other one. That's the one. The twins scream. Yeah. It's like, why are you all yelling? Because, like, cause I, I everything know, is I, all weird. I know why, but it's like, Jesus, why is this so loud? <laughs> it, I don't, it just has, like, a different effect on the weaker ones. Voldemort comes on the radio. Radio? I'm, I thought I, it was I, like, I, I know. I'm just saying it. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Anyways, Voldemort's, Voldemort's words was, like, pretty much like, hey, give up Harry Potter or... Everyone will be fine. You'll be rewarded. I'll leave Hogwarts alone. No one will have to die here. And then... One, one was, Slytherin. One Slytherin. Slytherin girls, what are you all doing? Get him. Like, get him. Unless you want to die. All right, cool. Well, God goes like, then all right. here comes Filch, oh, Filch. Yelling, students out of bed. Students out of bed. Students in the court. It's like, yeah, no okay, shit. Yeah, he's, uh, uh, he's, yeah, he's a... Yeah, he's a... We can do without him. We, we haven't seen him in so many movies. We haven't seen him since... Double of Fire. No, no. Order of Phoenix. Remember, he was helping with all the order... I mean, the, the posters. The posters. Okay, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Inquisitorial squad. <laughs> I mean, you might have seen him in six, but I don't remember. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Oh, no, your, your appearance is like, you know, pretty a time, timely. So, uh. You can escort. S- escort the house This of girl in the rest of Slytherin house, who's done nothing wrong at this point, down to the dungeons. Well, here's the thing. What's up? Slytherin are all raised the same Wrong. way. Incorrect, sir. If he has the same idea, I'm pretty sure all the Slytherin had the same thing. He just had the Listen, lady boss to step no, forward and say something about it. That's, they were all you thinking know what the you're same doing? thing. You're judging an entire group based on one person's actions. <laughs> so, yeah, what's up? So, if you say the floor is lava... With students of like different houses. I no no don't you do this with me, <laughs> sir. I have seen you. Good I know the internet. But here's what I'm saying. This one girl said that. But you don't know the actions of the other Slytherins there. Well there's like, hey, I just got put in this house. I don't know what the fuck is happening here. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know who this... Like, your first year, I was like, who the fuck is this Harry Potter kid? And why is he so damn important? Okay, maybe okay. <laughs> all the third-year Slytherins then. Nah, that's still a big group. Also, a lot of not done anything wrong. 
I understand like mocking up Draco, but he's not there. I crap. I mean, oh yeah, Crab's not here. There's a reason for that though. His actor went to jail, but <laughs> that's why he's not in that final scene. Crab, crab, crab. You remember Crab Goyle? Oh yeah, those yeah. Two. Goyle's there. Yeah, Goyle's Crab's there. not. Yeah, Blaze is there. He has no lines again. Yeah. <laughs> well, he has no line at all. At all. He had one line in the last movie he was in. He had a line in it. <laughs> Wait, you got to get the shit out of that. <laughs> But all that, I'm gonna do my best. Cool. And 16 takes. Christ on the crack. <laughs> Just for that. Huh. Uh, and yeah, but yeah, yeah, I think the actor went to jail. I think he stabbed so, someone or something. I don't know. But we're gonna get there. Um, so uh, they're planning. They that's all of a sudden. Yeah, sure. They just put the entire group. Let's get a one fourth of the school. We one fourth of your defense too. All down into the dungeons. That's a smart idea. You know what? Actually. That's uh, probably the safest place to be. I don't know what's happening. Well, listen, we're either going to win or lose. I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dying for this damn battle. Anywhere safe. But also, did you take their wands? I mean, they can still blast their way out. Hmm. I mean, especially with the well, life they've been learning. Well, well yeah. What's, what's they've been well, sure? we'll, get, we'll get to that later, too. Um, <laughs> fucking, all right, cool. So they now start. they prepare their defenses. Yep, they do the whole shield thing, and McGonagall activates all the statues. They go protect the school, protect the students. And I said, so when there was a murderer on the loose and you thought he was trying to get into the school, Y'all could you guys have used these stone nothing. soldiers to patrol instead of using the soul-sucking Grim Reapers that literally attacked the student twice hold that on, year? Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember that spell. Them. What was that spell? That was such a cool spell. It was a... Uh... Listen, I don't... Listen, you go back and figure it out on your own it time. We don't cool have time for this call here. You gotta look it up on your phone right now while I'm recapping, or because you don't have to go Harry Potter spoilers, as you now you have all caught up. Okay, I'm all caught up. Oh, let's da, see. Da, 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 da. Anyway, so fuck it. He already went, she always wanted to use the spell though. Can you happy about that? Molly's not used to spell. No clue what you're talking about, but okay. So fucking um, she also gave the permission to go blow up the bridge. Boom, all of it. It's like, it's a good move because it's your flank and you don't have enough wishes to defend it because you put a fourth of them down into the dungeons. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, eventually it's like, all right, cool. Oh, so I'm going to ask Harry what he needs. He's like, uh, time. Yeah, well, however much you can give me. They have an hour before Voldemort gets there with the attack, but he's even less than that because he doesn't wait the hour. Yeah. So, because he's a bad guy, that's what he does. Yeah. If you're going to give him up, I'm ready. You would have given up him the first 10 minutes. It would have taken an hour. He knows. Yeah. So, anyway. Searching around, they were thinking. Well, Ron was thinking really, really brilliant. We 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 need to destroy. It. We have the best of thing. Well, we think we know we can get one. All right, cool. So take this and find me with it. Where are you going? Gr- Ravenclaw common room because it's the best place to start. Then Luna sees them. It's like, actually, I think I have a better idea. Chases after them. While those two go to the chamber of secrets. And the battle begins when he's talking to Luna. So there's something before this point. Oh yeah, the okay. Oh yeah, the fucking all the everyone set up the defensive still. If she can see Remus there with the other guy. I can't remember I feel so bad for this actor's name. I don't remember his character's name, I don't remember his name. He's a black guy, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Here. I don't remember him though. His name. Yeah, he got he's a black guy with a very cool voice and a very awesome outfit. Uh-huh. And I don't remember his name because they barely talk about him. It, it, it's, his name. it's okay, it's okay. We all his tell first Mag- introduction introduction was Order Phoenix. He tell said tells McGon tell McGonagall that we'll meet uh, I mean like he's talking to Dean. Dean's back, hey what's up? Mm-hmm. Like tell him that me and Remus will lock down this section and it'll be fine. He looks out there like actually tell him we're gonna need about two or three more wands here. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting for Dean to say yes father or something. I'm like Nah, he just said yes, sir. I was like, don't make the two black guys create. <laughs> like, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> yeah. All right. So then, fucking um, Luna's talking to Harry. Yeah, like, she's hey, like, hey, listen, listen to me. Listen, I like the reason no one alive is here because the only one has lives. You have to talk to one who's dead. And, and as soon as he said that, I'm like, oh no, not Moni Murrow, not her again. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing Moni Murrow the last time I saw the movie for the first time. But no, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. When goodness, does the it wasn't attack her. begin? When she's talking to him, is that when they're seeing the shield fall? Is that when they see the blood? No, no, that's when the shield falls. He's like, amazing, isn't it? Like, all the people's um, yeah. faith in Harry. Like, he's going to do this. So, Harry's going to the fucking. Um, going to talk to the ghost lady, and then Voldemort and his forces arise. And boy, Bellatrix is just. Always placing herself on his right side, of course. Uh huh. Make sure that she's the right hand person for Voldemort. Most mm-hmm. loyal. Cool. All right, all right. My lord, don't you think we should 
And he looks at him and says, never mind, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> know your place. It's like, I don't know. Guys, come on now. It's like, shut the fuck up. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, you 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 got the dark lord right there. Like, don't question him. Do you are you like are you all trying to not? Why do you seem stupider for some reason? Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Just wait. Quit voicing your opinions. Do you? And I, you're not at the dinner table meeting anymore. You are now on a battlefield. He tells you them to use like, yes sir, yeah, <laughs> which they all do. They all have artillery fire. They I was so break down yeah. I was so and, like okay. It's like well, just like little. Puffy stuff, and then it hits the kill. Like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, okay. <laughs> trying to break, they're trying to break down this stuff, and it's like, all right, cool. It's got the shields going. Okay, and Harry's trying to talk to this damn ghost, right? Luna Lee's in ghost there. Ghost ain't having it. Yeah, Luna Lee's in there. It's like, nah. Okay, cool. You guys talking? You're allowed to be here for this. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And she's, she's quite shy, shy, more like a stubborn ghost. Well, she's shy and stubborn. She's shamed because that's. Helena Ravenclaw, who is Rowana Ravenclaw's daughter, and the only reason how she knows where the diadem is is because Helena stole it from her mother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway. Anyways. She he calls her the Grey Lady. It's like that's uh, she's offended that's by that. Nope, nope. I didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. So uh, uh, let's, let's, let's uh, rewind. Let's try this again. <clears throat> You're Helena Ravenclaw. My name's Harry Potter. Yeah, Helena Ravenclaw. <laughs> Uh, so I'm looking for something, and I'm pretty sure you know where it is. He's like, you're looking for my mother's diadem. Yeah, I want to destroy it. Someone else said that he wanted to do it last time, but no, he didn't do it, so I don't believe you. Yeah, boy, with a funny name. Tom Ritter, right? Yeah. Yeah, him. Fucking, I might be saying stuff out of order, but I don't care. But cut to, <laughs> we cut to Hermione. Oh, Christ. Yeah, we cut to fucking Hermione and goddamn... Stupid face. Oh, wait, no, no. First, we do the whole Neville thing, like the bridge. Remember those guys tried to run through and they... Oh, yeah, he's like, like yeah, you, you and whose army? Yeah, ha, ha, come on. Ha. I was like, why, like, why, why, dude, you, no, why, why, don't, why are we still here? Just bump the damn bridge. <laughs> it's like, we all know what meant, boom, man, you bump the damn bridge, let's go. But whatever. So, fucking, they're still there. Then we cut through fucking Ron Ron, Hermione. They, Ron knows how to speak fossil tongue, apparently. He's like, Harry Tom. tossed in his sleep. Have you ever noticed that? Hermione says no. It's like, yeah. I mean, I well, no. Yes, yeah, the- she did. You guys have been living together for months. You know, you know he talks in sleep now. <laughs> so, Ron just knows how to speak fossil tongue. Cool. And then they go in there and they fucking the sh- they find the baskets. They take out his fan. They use a clip. Hermione, you do this one. Why? Why are we? Why well, just do just the thing? Them. These aren't linked. To- this one definitely no way linked to Hermione. Yeah. Like, not affect her in any way. Just fucking take this thing and just. And apparently, like, in the movie, they, they didn't just take like one thing. They just took like all the things. Cause they have things for days in this movie. Yeah, they had a few things. They had a few of them. Yeah. I mean, it's like two or three. It, it, it was the evil because we do it, and then fucking Voldemort's pop up out the water and chase him. But their giant face, Voldemort's not actually him, so it's like cool. There's that, and it just kind of splashes around him. I was like, all right, that was weird. And, and then, then the most un- my the shit. third most egregious thing in this movie happens. Third, that's right, Collier's number three on the list. We're gonna get to two and one later on. <laughs> I mean, hey man. No, shut the fuck up. It had, it had <laughs> shut hope. The fuck up. <laughs> You just upset because I was right the entire time. Oh, I already knew a Collier. Once I know, again, I know. You just kept on poking holes. No, listen. Okay, here's the reason why. I was gonna say this for the end, but I'm not doing it now. The reason why. No, no, no same for the end. Same for the end. No, no, no. no. Oh. It, 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 you've already got there. I didn't want to tell you this because oh, okay. you wouldn't know that Ron didn't die, but originally Ron was just going to die. Originally, he was supposed to. Originally, yeah, he was supposed to die. Ron was supposed to die and give Harry the emotional movement to go forward with this te- with the. Defeating if, of Voldemort, if, which you can tell is happening in part of the narrative, and then she changes her mind midway through her story, and she's like, "Nah, let's just replace that with teen angst." <laughs> if Ron would have died, okay, after Ron had kissed Hermione and my ship was sailing, no. and if he were to die, no. not, I, not, in the, not in that battle. I mean earlier. Oh, earth. Oh, yeah, like before the whole battle. Before this book, I believe. Before a few, <laughs> Ron's supposed to die, but doesn't. So, so she because she changed her mind through the story. I'm, so, I'm pretty sure those parts where I'm getting pissed off with Ron's character is because she wanted to have him so alive, and it and wasn't. Was like, really, it really wasn't doing anything. For and you were just story. like, nope. I would have agreed. It wasn't doing anything with the story. He's just being pissy now, and it's like, all right, well. Like, let's say that when Helena Bonham Carter, <laughs> that was extra strange. 
Uh huh. <laughs> Threw that knife, right? Yeah. And if we would have hit Ron instead Ron, of Bobby, someone we had spent at that point seven movies with, mm-hmm. as opposed to the person we've seen for part of for one and then five minutes of the other. <laughs> Let's say that. Imagine you will the emotional impact that would have had on you as a viewer. That would have felt been... that that would have felt more like a complete story as opposed to lead up for this movie. Yeah, I I would have felt. Uh... A wee bit sad. Yeah, even though I don't like Ron's character that much, when I seen that, I was like, "Oh, it's fucking on, Boldy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go." Which also, Molly killing Beltrix for Strange would have really, really held some emotional value there. As oh yeah, history, oh you know, yeah. Not my daughter, you bitch. It's like, I mean, for my son. Bam. Yeah. Imagine, imagine if you will. Yeah. That. Yeah. But. Whatever. So, <laughs> weird. they kiss. Cool. Collier's happy. Ooh. And then fucking Voldemort feels it. And you know what he does? All right, cool. Enough of this shit. He takes the yeah. shell down himself. But he freaking so. thanos it. Like, once I'm done, Fine. do I'll it do yourself. It. Do it. One wrong hand. Do it yourself. Fucking, uh, so... <sighs> He breaks the shield, but his the wand's repelling him for some reason. It is not because it's. I, I've kind of known this. I've always thought. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Olive Inn earlier was moving too. We said something. He was talking about how wands um, have. Ha, ha, can Chris change the li- alliances change. and whatnot. Yeah, and personalities. Like, man, man, cool. You know what? That's good to know. First, your Hogwarts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I kind <laughs> of, I kind of had the whole idea about it as soon as I heard. The wand chooses the wizard. Yeah, who are also have personalities. Yeah, like, oh, so also, these things can, are like also, semi- he can, just look, he can just look at the wand and tell us who it was. Like, you remember all of those? I'm like, dude, you're... I <laughs> I need you. I need you. So anyway. Like, right. oh, hey, there's a uh, teak wood. Unicorn hair. Okay, cool. There's some belts we should change. Be careful with that one. <laughs> careful with that one. <laughs> Make sure to keep that safe. Uh, anyway, I so... I remember when she was just five years old, came to me just... Unyielding. Bright... Unyielding. That's what, uh, yeah, unyielding. This one, this one was the one to make Craig Martin was. 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 It switched, well, it switched hands. It switched owners. Because yeah. okay. you disarmed him, right? Yeah. It, you know, changed allegiance. It's, 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 doesn't want to be him. There you go. All right, anyway, so, fucking Voldemort does it, but he's feeling something weird. The wand is still repelling him. So. <clears throat> I wouldn't, I, I, at the same time, <coughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that wand's like exploded on him. It looked like it was about to break. <laughs> yeah. I was like, holy shit. But the entire time, I was like, no, I, I think that one actually belongs to Harry. I think it was supposed to be passed down nope. to Harry. Nope. I always thought that, you know, in Dumbledore's plan, like, oh, okay, yeah, Erdogan, but I'm going to give it to the boy who lived because that's how I wanted it to be. And it's like a failsafe so that Voldemort won't be able to use this one to his full potential. So whatever Harry's still having the conversation, he's like, he wanted to be destroyed too. And... That's a very weird thing that they don't exactly explain because. Well, you said Harry wants to be destroyed. No, no, no. The diadem. Remember, he's talking to, he's trying to convince Helena to tell him where it is. And like, you mm-hmm. want it to be destroyed too. No, oh I, yeah, he I said Harry to do that. Yeah. Which makes no sense. She doesn't want it to be destroyed. At no point does she ever want this to be destroyed. Because that is cause... because she said someone else promised that they destroy it too, but they lied. They put it with dark magic. Yeah. But. She never wanted to be destroyed. Why would she want that to be destroyed? I, I was thinking at this point because she was tied to no. the uh, diadem and was just like... Because nope, he's been tainted with dark matches it's also affecting her. I don't know. No, no. Spoiler, that ghost is still there. They ghosts are bound by objects in this world. That's, that's, what, I, just that's what I thought. Yeah. So... Well, no. They're bound to okay. the place of it, where it, they died. No. They're no, not no, because, she because Headless, no. what's his face, is still running around. Been, yeah, and she didn't die there. She died um, in Albania. Then why is she hanging in Hogwarts? Her she, her mother was the founder of Ravenclaw House. She went to Ravenclaw. I mean, that's why she's there. I'm just like there's a whole there's a whole other thing too, but I'll there's that's some extended lore and also explained in the books. It's that whole thing that they didn't have time for. But to, to just throw that line in that she wants to be destroyed too. It's like, well, you gotta explain that. Yeah. You gotta, you know, what did you have for it? Nothing. All right, cool. It's in a place where it's in a room requirement. I'm not gonna say all the fucking yeah bullshit it's, you did. It's a room requirement. Cryptic. Cool. Go there. That's where he knows. And then they all go in there fucking 
Draco apparition to the school takes Goyle and, and some other guy. Uh, uh, um, Blaze. Blaze. And he's like, all right, cool. Gonna, come, you guys come with me. They're going to track down Harry Potter themselves. And uh, fucking um, cool, yeah. And Ron and Hermione are trying to find Harry using the fucking um, uh, Marauder's map. And they see Harry sitting in front of a wall. Then he disappears. And, and thanks Ron, to Ron's quick thinking, like, oh, Ron, you said that last Ron year. He's like, all right, cool. If she did that last uh, year, you have to give Hermione this one because she didn't say it last year. At all last year. Did not. Nah. Or, she said it in the movie. What? I mean, like, he said it. In the book. In the book. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, it's like, man, they kind of dumped her down. It's like, giving all the Ron, Ron her ideas. Like, one, we've already said Ron never listened to Hermione. Ever wants to listen to Hermione. And he's like, listen now. Nah, fuck off. <laughs> he would have forgotten 10 minutes from then when he cheap said that. But whatever. <sighs> what happens next? Okay, so now we're... Ron, I mean, there, he, Harry's, Harry's in there, and he's looking for... Oh, yeah, and they're, they're storming. They blow up the bridge with the fucking werewolves and everything. The snatchers on it. And never like, oh, no, the devil died. No, he didn't die. He's alive. Cool. Yeah, they fucking, their death eaters are flying around. They're going through the castle, blowing shit yeah, up. shit up. <laughs> you see some cool action shots there. Fucking, uh, one, one black guy we do, he went from closer to him. He stops time there and then repels his him it. out. Yeah. The, uh, no, not reverses. He repels at that time because the window's still broken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <he> just, <laughs> <"Roo."> <laughs> that dude fell to his death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was freaking badass. And, like, man, like, how do they, like, no, the like thing I aim shot. at these things like just moving so quick like just shooting at quick hand eye hand eye coordination what what you gotta lead your target fucking uh, everyone's fighting you see got some giants coming across the bridge or trolls or, they're giants or trolls they're supposed to be giants but they're just trolls or whatever yeah you got the giant um, statues no, just Harry finds he's looking around he's like oh cool oh by the way all the stuff in that room is just props used from all the past movies ha huh. Like, it's the room requirement, and now it's just like the room of junk. What happened? <laughs> Remember this room was really clean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it stopped becoming clean when they started using it as a storage closet. <laughs> it's required. It was, like the, it was the last one, too. It, it's, like, it's required. I don't know, I was like, where's the Half-Blood Prince's book? Where is it? Is it maybe it has something in here for us. Fucking, uh, what else was there? Okay, you know, this entire time, I was actually thinking that one of the horror courses was actually the uh, box of uh, the cabinet of something. Yeah, like in the room requirement in the bottom left hand corner, there's the knight that Ron rides when he in Sorcerer's Stone. Huh. There's also the corner pictures that you saw Good or Lockhart released. Yeah, there's everything in here. Uh fucking yeah. So about seventy two containers of props were done in that room. Wow. To make it. So then he sees it, it's right there. Cool, I'm gonna find oh what nope. See Draco. He goes to it. Fucking guess what? Fucking Draco and his crew come around. He's like, Potter, you got something in mind. Like, well, you got one of your own. What's wrong with that? It's like, my mom, she's powerful, but, you know, she just doesn't get me. <laughs> well, it's like, not your one. Then he asked the important question. What are you asking? He's like, why don't you tell her? Bellatrix. You knew it wasn't me. But you didn't say anything. It's like, man, this would be a very good character moment right here for just for these two characters. Yeah. It's a shame that they decided to bring Goyle and Blaze here. I was like, I want yeah. them to just talk. And it's like, nah, like, don't be a, get, get him. Don't be a prick. A Pratt and Giddle. I was like, what the fuck is a Pratt? But I'm not going to care. Like, uh, Pratt? I, I guess. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. It's like, man, this scene would have been so much better if these two weren't here. I mean, and if but he whatever. has to be egged on by his two goons to do something. Man, they really. He, he they got, really he got Emma should pulled, you know? They really changed this character. Like, this character development of Draco. It should have just been Draco. Cut the... I don't care to shut fuck who's in the book. Cut them out if you can have a better moment for the movie right here. That's what I want. I was like, I want to see... I want to hear Draco's reasoning. It's like, listen. I really don't I like know. It. I know my dad's in some weird shit, right? But he got my mom, my mom and me in some weird shit, and I don't want to be there. Like, if that was, was like... I'm not saying that's the wording for Draco. Would have been hilarious if it was. <laughs> but like, listen... I, I'm stuck. I have Take to do this. Middle, I was like, I got no choice. If I don't, he's going to kill my family. So I'm sorry, Potter. You might be a cool dude. We never get to talk that much. But my family are you. You going out. <laughs> That's working. But we don't get any of that. It's like, don't be a prat. Cool. All right. Then fucking Hermione around the corner. Expelleramus disarms Draco. He's like, man, you can disarm him again. <laughs> we lost that one as well. <laughs> and then fucking... Man. Goyle, Avada Kedavra, and then Hermione blasted, and then they run, and then fucking Ron Young yelling, that's my girlfriend, ah, I was like, alright, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? 
Oh, you yeah. don't like that moment either? <laughs> I was like, I, I'm like, oh, oh, all right, okay, all right. Like, but you, you, you just you finished me. putting the last nail in the ship. Don't ruin it for me. And guess what? He comes back and he ruins it with his stupid, yeah. dumb face. I thought we were dumb with, uh, done with the faces. Yeah, Ross, still the face. I'm like, Lord, okay, dude. Okay, so fucking they... It, the, when that happened, the, it's literally the as if like the, the direct diadem went, the diadem went flying, right? The diadem flying. Cool, we gotta go find this thing again. It's like, why? You had it. Don't make it go fly. It's like, cool, I got it. Let's leave. Then they, Ron, they, I'm, I'm, they I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still upset from that stupid face that he did. It's like the director, like, hey, you can still make that dumb face, right? Do it again, one last time. <laughs> they got the, okay. They're climbing up this fucking thing. They're throwing chairs off left and right. They got it. Cool. Then Ron's coming running back. They found well, they found the diadem. Ron's coming back. Goyle's setting the place on fire. Uh, I'm, guess, I'm guessing that's not his wand either, because it's not it is his wand. The, him. It is it is his wand. The spell rebounded. That's the powerful magic they've been learning, but they don't know how to control it yet. Mm. So you're in, he just he yells the killing curse, and then he got all this shit. It was like, what the fuck are you doing? And they're like, hey, hey, it might not be his wand. Either. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I mean, he's like he's kind of going up. He's and just he ready. throws the wand. It's like, all right, all right. But I believe the spell rebounded at that point. Mm. It's like it's just it's out of control. Yeah. Cool. They're so running. The place is on fire. They're, running. they're all running up a direction. They're trying to get out of here. Fucking um, they Harry bought some some water. Is chasing down. It's like oh, what? they bumped into some brooms. And this is the first broom. This is the first movie that you ever see Hermione operate a broom. Totally right. Yeah, that's one of the facts. I mean, because last time, uh, the only time you've seen her next to, with a broom is it was, the first movie when it knocks her in the face. It knocks Ron in the face. It won't get up for her. Oh, it, like, just, it uh, just won't work for her. Uh, she's young, young. It's like meh. Yeah. They eventually all do get him up, but she never gets to write it in that movie. So they yeah. So they fly in. They're flying. Cool. One That's of the boys, uh, Goyle. Goyle gets. Goyle falls to his death. <gasps> cool. I'm sorry. I was so so scared that they were going to use. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have a game. <laughs> oh man, that would uh, that would really be nice on the cake for this movie. Uh, so they like, oh. cool. We. Uh, Harry says we have to save him. It's like, what? Are you? He's joking, right? Nope. They turn around. They try again. What? Miss if, it. If we he die for them, them, I'm going to kill you. Like, all right, that's a great line, Ron. Hilarious. Uh, anyway, so, so they, they save him and they, they make it. They, they cross uh, out. Harry gets a diadem, stabs it with the basilisk vein. His soul starts leaking out of. Ron kicks it into the room requirement. Three Voldemort flame heads coming in. The door shuts. It's like, cool. Room for life. He's like, you don't need this anymore. <laughs> Voldemort feels it. And Harry feels he, it. He's like, oh. he's just like, starts walking off. My, same guy. My little, my little father. father. Oh, it's like, see, this is what happens. You don't shut the fuck up. Dude, see, he, he's taking it, a walk. Shut up. Like, I take, find it so weird how uh, Voldemort is saying the uh, killing curse. Yeah. As opposed as when we first heard it, it's like, <laughs> no, first. he's always said it. No, no, it, it's like a different way because now it's like, Avada-da-da. well, I mean, he's actually has a body now. Oh yeah, because the first time I said he was like this weird that little like, <laughs> weird, the little, <laughs> little spell fetus thing. Yeah, nah. Speaking of spell fetuses, we'll get to that later. Nah. Yeah, you you saw that? I was like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with you? Nah. Like, what the fuck is wrong? Why the fuck would you show me this? <laughs> <laughs> Show me that I fucking... <laughs> yeah, kills that dude. He's like, all right, you see, that's why you shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking way too much. I would need to, he's like... Give me, he give only me said two Nikini. words. My lord. He's the first guy who questioned him. It was I'm, like, I'm, should we w- wait for... And then he... Oh. Okay, never mind. He's, he's like, he, he shutting up. He's like, see, shut up. This is... Uh, I just made an example up. out of you. Yeah. <laughs> now I guess... Get, no one follows him. Like, that's one more... He leads to fear, apparently. Well, not apparently. He saw. He just yeah. killed, his, killed his followers left and right in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, um, he goes down to the bell house, right? Keep, keep Nagani safe. Then, Harry wakes up from it. It's like, he's... He the, found the, out the, the snake. The snake's the one. Yeah. The snake is the last one. And once again, him and Ron doing some bad math here because the whole thing said seven. Yeah. Seven horcruxes. Yeah. I mean, he it, asked all seven horcruxes, but at that point, they only know six. But I was like, you know there's seven of them. Yeah, and I was like, I was doing it out just like, wait, Once we're, again? Miss, we're missing one, yeah. we're missing one, what the fuck is going on here? We'll get to that later. Yeah, it's, 
Wait, so wait. then I, I'm guessing Voldemort in calls his... on a radio again. No, 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 or, no, or no, no not yet. Ron tells Harry, look into him so we can figure out where he is so we can go kill it. Oh, right, right, right. That way, it's just going to be us against him. So he does, and he sees the boathouse down there in the lake. He's there with Lucius and the snake. <laughs> that rhymes for no reason. And so, he, he's just punking Lucius. He's just punking him. How can you live with yourself? I don't know. And he's like, bring me servers. Oh, Lucius also one of those guys like, should, should not be best for us to call this attack, call off the attack, and you just pursue the boy yourself. Like, later, at a different time. It's like, nah, it, I'm like, I will not pursue him. He will come to me. Yeah. And just, he smacked him to us. Like, man, Lucius, what happened? That time in Asking Man changed. He, 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 you used to be oh, you so proud. It's like, when Dark Lord came up, you, you whittled went, away. Yeah. Oh, you also, I noticed, I didn't see the in the last one, and this one, I noticed he had a neck tattoo. So I'm pretty sure he got that while in Asking Man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway. Times be hard for it, was there in Asking Man? So, he sees you like, bring me servers. And he just says, speak with him. Find servers, bring him to me. And he does. <clears throat> and then they say, he's down in the lake house? Cool. Let's fucking go. They all go down there, right? And there's mm-hmm. this scene with fucking uh, Voldemort and servers. And I felt so uneasy about this. Oh, scene. man, let me tell you. This is the most brutal death. And we've seen a man disintegrate in this series. <laughs> this is the most brutal death. They <laughs> yeah. didn't even show it. It's like, dude, he's like, it, the, but it's like, the wand is repelling me. It's like, no, no, it will serve you when the boy, the time is right. The boy will meet you and it'll, it will only answer to you. It's like, no, I, it's like, it, it's a thing. You, you killed, kill, you killed Dumbledore. It so will not it's serve like, me while you live. It's saying like, uh, the Lord, <laughs> like, uh, you saved me safely the entire time. And he slashed him with something. I don't know what. I think the wand. All right. That's kind of weird. Not or like his nails, or I don't know. Like, I don't know how he slashed his neck. Or something. Like, uh, and then, uh, Nagini, kill. And just... <laughs> I was like, holy fuck, dude. And the movie got dark. You get a dark, let me tell you, this battle here, I'm like, all right. Yeah. Let me turn up the brightness on my TV again so I can see something. <laughs> <laughs> let's, just, let's battle in the darkness. And also, like, freaking... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did we miss the moment when, did we miss the moment when they ran out to school? Oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're, oh, yeah, that's right. They was running to school. Right, Things school. were happening. Freaking Fucking deflecting spells. Giant Werewolf spiders. was mad. Fenrir Greyback killed Lavender Brown. Yeah, and they're like, no! She, freaking... Hermione what? locked him out the room, sent him to his death, but yeah, she's dead. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, a little sad, a sad moment. Yeah. I'm like, no. The, all she, she did was love Ron. She, that's all she... And then died fighting for Harry. How many people must fall for this one kid? How Harry many, never. W- how many more must die in your name? <laughs> That's a Doctor Who thing. <laughs> Not a British thing. I, I could have heard that. Uh, I could have swore I heard that from somewhere else. But anyways, you did. Uh, Video I was watching. Hmm? Oh, yeah, oh. Okay. shoot. Uh, but anyway. man, yeah, I swear. This franchise like to prey on people's side phobias. characters. Oh, oh, uh, side characters. Yeah, for phobias. What? Dude, what? freaking snakes is a common one. You Spiders said this last, is a common this, one. You said this last one. I don't know, but man, they just won't stop. Every time I saw a big ass spot, I'm like, "Come on!" I mean, these ones weren't this. that bad because they were just so in the background, so blah, whatever. It didn't matter. They weren't ma- they weren't the main part of the scene. They're just like it's just at this point. There's just a lot of CGI noise going on. Yeah, just like all right, oh, I'm just gonna fucking turn my brain Oliver off. makes a small cameo. The guy riding the broom says, "Come on, Oliver was the original Quidditch captain team." Oh, team captain. <laughs> Yeah, for our Gryffindor, remember? He, yeah. He, 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 come on. He's just reading the guys, the guys in the airstrike. It's like, oh, there. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm watching the credits, and I was like, Oliver. Oh, that's him. Oh, yeah. yeah he, he came back for this, to that one line. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, them flying in the room requirement, I don't, it doesn't look good. You too, huh? Yeah. I like, okay. I thought, I, thought, I thought I'll be the only one. <laughs> All right, cool. Two fifty is what it fucks on that budget. They still get to flying down apparently. <laughs> that's still not working. I think that's like one of the few things that they can't get down right. Uh, apparently not. They can't make it look real. They don't. I they don't know how to actually make the how their their movement in that moment look good. Yeah. It's not fluid enough. It's very stagnant. It's stuck. okay. Here's the thing. You can't focus on them. You can't have like a front like here's them on a broom. You can't have the camera here and just like follow them. Like that. You need to be... Oh, yeah, the, the camera needs to be free-roaming because otherwise... How did John... How did John Graham put this? It's like having 
a, a pole with a tennis ball, but the tennis ball is the camera. That's what it looks like the entire time. Yeah. Like, if someone walked around with a selfie stick just doing it, then it's like, that yeah, looks yeah, bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's really, 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 really like, bad. When yeah. they do that whole front thing, it's like, it needs to be a freeform camera, but it's like, the problem with that is like, then they just use like, oh, we could just use CG for that. It's like, no, that's the problem. Stop using the, so much CG with it. I mean, you gotta, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, do, happy, you gotta do a happy medium. I mean, you, gotta, you gotta do a happy medium, for you, or maybe like a 60-40 thing on this one. It's like, because you're not gonna be able to get them to fly. That's just impossible. Yeah. But also, it's like, man, this is really I mean, you can make Superman fly and make him look good, so what's happened there? Uh, whatever. So, maybe it's a broom. Maybe the broom's a problem here. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, when they're in the smoke form, the smoke looks good, but then it's just smoke. So, yeah. I don't know. They gotta figure out how to, uh, well, they don't have to, because, well, actually, they do. They got no franchise going. But it's hopefully, it looks, they haven't brought any brooms in Fantastic Beasts, have they? No. No, oh, cool. We're gonna, maybe we'll see this one. Any, we'll see. Meanwhile. Uh, the Giddy, kill, kill, fucking kill, and also fuck out hey, of snake. Just, just, just keep in mind, the snake is not venomous, so it's just oh no, it's just biting the, the fuck out of him. Just not, 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 not. A very not, strong not, snake not. just killing the fuck out of him. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna bleed to death, and it's gonna, he's gonna feel pain. Yeah. So he apparates away with it. They come in later, because what man, what a scene that would have been. Then snake's there. He's starting to cry, but it's not tears. I know. I saw tears. that. I saw that. They're I was like, glowing. uh... Those hmm. are memories. Hey, get he those. Says, take get them. them. Get them. He said, take them. I might even flash. Get anything. Let's go. Let's he's go. Like, uh, in there. He looked at me. Like, look at me. You have your he mother's eyes. eyes. And then he dies. I'm like... <clears throat> and then... So, then... Then... Voldemort's back on the radio. You've yeah. all fought valiantly. But, unfortunately, in vain. So, so every... I'm gonna make another deal. Every drop of magical blood spilled is a... A pity. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to pull my forces back. They'll all return. You all get to bury your dead with dignity. Now I'm speaking to you, Harry. You have allowed your friends to die for you tonight, just so you wouldn't have to face me, and that is a shame. So meet me in the Forbidden Forest, and we'll settle this like men, or as I am, a grown man to child. <laughs> because. That's essentially what this entire story goes down to. It's a grown man who has a beef of a little kid. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so mm-hmm. they all walk up to Hogwarts. Where is everyone? Everything's destroyed. They go into the Great Hall. It is being used in a medical uh, facility. Mm-hmm. Fucking, um, so many people are hurt. And this Fucking is where... The, one of the Provided Twins also dead. And then you see Fred. Fred is dead. Fred's dead, baby. Dude, man, the, the, the last scene before all this, when everyone was like preparing for force, like, like, uh, like ready for, like, and it wasn't like oh, ready also, for. Also, Remus and uh, Tonks are dead too. Hmm. But uh, uh, I'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Fred, Fred being dead, not, yeah. not, not happy. No, no, that 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 was when I texted you. Hey, I, I know. So Fred's dead. Not the one. With the, not the one with the hole in his uh, ear. Yeah, here's the other one. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's when it. I when I saw them in the scene, like scared, like I'm scared, but that's like you know, like yeah, good, we're ready to go. You know, so find about we're gonna go out with a bang as always of whatever they said. I'm like, all right, y'all better come back safe now. Nope, not all of them. Mm. Not this Christmas. Anyway, mm. they're all crying. They're sad. Harry goes to the office to go to the pensive. And this is the third re- damn redesign of this goddamn pensive. I was like, okay. So See, now does I it get... look cool? Yeah. Yeah. But you know what else it doesn't do? Establish any continuity what this thing is. Yeah. This is the third time you guys have cha- the guys have changed this thing. I it's only one... been seen in three movies. I remember one time it's like the big old goblet. It's a goblet. And then Next you time fall it's into like a floaty. It. The one thing it's, it's like, like a floaty thing. And you put your face into it. This one is a disc that you literally just throw for some no, reason. No, no, it was a combination. It's like the goblet and then the disc. And then you just... It's like a... It's a flying saucer now? What the hell is happening? And then you, All right, you put the tears in, and then he uses his face, and then, at this moment, I am just taking all the pins out! Uh, we are finally there! What are you on about? Because the whole conspiracy thing that I had, of all the pins okay. that we've been putting together, that's about like, oh, put a pin, pin in it, put that's, a pin in that's it. That's one pin. No, I, you, you, that, sword, that I took about like five pins out. You took five pins for one thing? Probably. You're, you're improperly using your pin. There was one pin. Anyway, <laughs> so here we are. It's a flashback. We see little Lily Pop, little Lily uh, Dudley with her sister Petunia Dudley. And let me tell you, 
but Chinya Dudley is still a little bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Her, the bitch. They are all just a, ter- a terrible person. Mm-hmm. Immediately, she's magic. You're a freak. I'm telling mommy. And then, in a weird turn of events, she the one she's running away from her sister. In turn. There's a little snake crawling out of a tree? Yeah. Sure. Enter snake. Yeah. That's, Enter that, little, little small snake. snake. And then Petunia runs away, and those two just hang out. She's just mad because she's ordinary, and you're special. He's like, that's mean. He's making leaves into flying things. Then they cut there at Hogwarts, and fucking, um... He goes to Hufflepuff? Nope, she no. goes to Gryffindor. Gryffindor. That's where she meets James, and I would assume Slate went to Slytherin instead. Yeah. And he was really jealous about that, because yep. you can see him, you can already see him losing her to it. And mm-hmm. then they're going out of... They're just all these things. It's like, oh, look how he loved Lillian, and she's just... It's unrequited love. He loves her, but she does not love him back. At least yeah. not the same way. That's his her friend, but that's not the person he wants to be with. You know, he yeah. wants a bad boy. She wants James, the boy. You know, like he's running, go. He's knocking books out of her hand, but you know, he got the little smirk going on. So she's smiling. Like, that. like when you, <laughs> they always say, you know, you push the girl and little girls look at the little they like. It's like I never got that myself. I, but <laughs> yeah. Like, why would you want to hurt someone that you love? <laughs> <laughs> whatever love hurts uh, uh, love, uh, whatever yeah, we're, <laughs> we're not getting that right now so fucking um and then uh they you cut to the little older so they're married and they're married. then you cut to the point when Snape's making a deal with Dumbledore it's like do you, do you hear me yell don't kill me so I assume there was a fight with these two at one point yeah and it's like and it's like he's going to kill them he's so now they're talking about the prophecy there it's like but the Probably never mentioned women. It's like I don't care. You have to protect them, protect all of them. Which means he also means James too. Like he might not like James. It's like he, he has to keep. He wants to keep Lily safe. So it's like that means like James should be there to keep her safe too. Mm-hmm. So it's like just protect all of them. Yeah. Protect all of them. He cares about this conference. It's like what were you giving me in exchange? Anything. All right, cool. I mean that. I assume that's when he becomes a double agent for them. Yeah. But then, uh, you know, they die. And then fucking Snape's like, you promised you would protect them. And you know, like they put their faith in the wrong person's service, as did you. He, and he tells him, like, the the boy he's like the boy doesn't need protection anymore. The dark boy's dead, but he will return. You know he has her eyes. I mean, but then later on, yes, we know that because we see Snape go to their house and mm-hmm. sees their bodies and he holds yeah. Lily and then Harry's just sitting there in a the little corner. It's like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah like, he knows. He probably saw her. <laughs> it's starts him. Sorry. By the way, that's like a, a weird what? Baby, baby Harry's. That was weird looking. He was a weird baby. I mean, I assume it's a real weird. I assume it's a real baby, but it's like. I mean, baby. it is a real baby, but man, I don't know. It's weird, just like weird, weird. Baby. weird baby. Yeah, weird I'm gonna baby. who whose baby they use. Who baby this? <laughs> who that baby? <laughs> uh, fucking. Then they cut to like when they Snake was uh, treating him for that curse he had. It's like he drink all that. The, the curse will spread, but. So it was hold it off. How long? About a year. About a year. So he was already not. He was already going to die. Yeah. Dumbledore was already. Voldemort had to do nothing. He could just wait. Just, just wait. Yeah. <laughs> then he would have died, and they're like, "Oh, cool. This is easier now." <laughs> I don't have to figure out where the fuck. Nah, I need to be done now. And no. Because at that point, when when he was sent, when Draco was going to kill him, he had like a few months left. Uh huh. He could just wait it. At the point where this movie it's been, Dumbledore had already been dead. So yeah. Anyway. Fucking, uh-huh. he's talking about like you hear him talking about Harry, and it's like arrogant, as, even more arrogant than his father. And seems to rev, revel in his fame. Like you, and they're cutting back all this scene. Like you see, service looking at him, and well, now he's getting kind of like why he's getting like that too. It's like mm-hmm. you know, the whole father thing with his mom thing. It's like he, he's like, don't tell me you come to care about the boy, and he does. Expect a patronum, and, and then it's the dough. It's the dough. Take that pin out. That's two pins. So now you know who's Patronus that was. Uh huh. Which means Snape was helping him the entire time. Uh huh. Yep. And he's like, and Dumbledore turns to him, all this time, all, all always, always. Which is one of the thing when Alan Rickman died, very sad day. All the Harry Potter fans, especially fans of Snape, always just messed up always. Just messed up always. Always, just just one word always. That's what Snape did always. So just keep that alive. So, <laughs> fucking, uh... Oh, so, what happens with Patronus, right? Mm-hmm. Is that Patronus... I'm not sure at what point it does change, but Patronus can change. Mm-hmm. I believe when you love someone, I'm not sure if it's when you lose that person, though. Because 
Serpents was something else, but didn't change to a doe because Lily's was a doe. Yeah, I, I heard that and too. And Fred and George, man, one had a one had a coyote, the other one had a hyena. Mm-hmm. So I believe it's when at a point of death when it changes because George just could have changed, but no one else because he never casted another Patronus. Yeah. Well, he could well, could... he could do except for, he can do the Patronus because you know it takes a lot of joy and then he's not. He's not going to be in as a joyous. happy place. Yeah. The, yeah, so he's never done that again. He also, a uh, little thing, they didn't go in the movie but with their children's name, but he named his son Fred. Yeah. Just so you know that. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> in case you weren't hurting him, though. This was good to me. So, and then they keep going on. He's like, he, he Carrie has to be told at one at point. At one point. And he can to tell him so. Just he, that's why he knows the rest because he he needs to know this that Harry is the last Horcrux. He's and gonna then I was it. like, it makes sense now. Yeah. But at that point, it didn't make sense of like the how. But then, which is why he's possible he's, tongue. Which and is why also he knows connected the Horcruxes because like his, he is. Yeah. A, then he says because a part of Voldemort is in him, and I was like, he's a Horcrux, yeah. I knew it. I didn't know that he was going to be Horcrux, but I knew that he was a part of Voldemort. Just didn't know how. Just probably, I don't know, in the process of like yeah, I knew they were connected mom. and when they, when they introduced the Horcrux, I was like, oh, no, this is not going to end up good for Harry. <laughs> <laughs> like, that explains a lot. <laughs> yep. Oh, goodness. Uh, but yeah. But also, at the same time, I was thinking like, so, does Voldemort not know? Yeah. So, if he... Does successfully kill Harry. He, he, has he to ends up killing himself. Yeah. Neither can live while the other survives. Exactly. Prophecy. <laughs> yes. Like, oh, yeah. full circle. Full circle. So, yeah, so the boy who lived must die. That's what it essentially all comes down to. Yeah. And they, I'm guessing that's what the. What Albus has deciphered the prophecy. To be yeah. the boy who lived must die. It's a whole thing. Yeah. So fucking Harry figured that out. He comes out defensive, mm-hmm. and it's like, and well, he fuck. just yeah, just sitting there like, because it's like cool. You he knows he has to now because like yeah. otherwise none of his friends or family or well, friends are safe. <laughs> I just kind of like ooh. <laughs> no, no, they could be his family too. No, they're not. Ron's made that abundantly clear. Jenny. No, it's his family. They keep trying that thing. We're gonna, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that either. But man, she, man, man, man. man. I, I would have been fine. If he just been single for the rest of his life. I would have been fine with that. I'm just finding for money with single for the rest of her life. But whatever. Well, I digress. <laughs> Here we go. Fucking um. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking down the stairs and he sees. Hermione and Ron sitting alone, they're sad because, you know, Ron's really sad as part of his brother dying. And Hermione's being emotional support. Yeah. And then they, they see him, like, we thought you went to the forest. He's like, I'm going there now. No, don't do it. He's like, I have to. Don't he, you he, he told I'm I one of them. He's like, I figured that out. And he looked at her and he's like, I think you've known that for a while. And she has. And just like, yeah. She just, it's like, how do you, you don't know how to break that news. It's like, um, Harry, so there's a, you might be a reason connect with all these. <laughs> yeah. But she's like, I'll go with you. Like, no, I nope, gotta go. Nope, I, I you, guys gotta, you guys had to kill the snake. After that, it's just him. That's all you have to do. So, he walks off. And he's just, he's just, he goes through the forest. he's just going through an emotional journey at this point. Yeah. And then he takes out the footage and then it's like, like, you know, put the clothes, does that again. Which I know you have to put the full thing in up, whatever. He just does it again, then it opens. You know what? And then maybe it wasn't I opened at the close. Maybe I, I opened at the close. No. Like, maybe he was close. The, at the close? At close to death? Man, Dumbledore, don't put the riddle in there. <laughs> don't put the riddle. Just spell, spell shit out. Let's try that. Let's try that. Like, like where's your most powerful pills? Well, he didn't use them correctly. <laughs> Please, sir. So then, uh, something... He used the Resurrection Stone, and then... The now what? you see why the guy went mad. Wait, that, the, the what? The Resurrection Stone. That's what... He it... says it, the Resurrection Stone. I... It has a Deathly Hallow symbol on it, Collier. Did you miss that? 
It's probably too dark for you. I, 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 no, no, I did yeah, not. That was the resurrection stone. I did not. So he I had, didn't even hear him had, say anything. I must have yawned. I must have sneezed. two of the deathly hollow from the entire time. Oh, my. The Church of the MacGuffins is complete, Collier. We found literally all the MacGuffins I was, in this series, in this one movie. <laughs> so, Collier? I didn't hear him say the Resurrection Stone at all. Yeah, so that's Resurrection Stone. and Because my entire gripe with this entire movie was like, hey, word of it's the Resurrection Stone. Yeah, so here's the thing. Now you know why the guy who had it originally went mad. Because you can bring them back to life, but they don't have their bodies, so they're just spirits around you, and you can't become, you can't. Cook that's them. how that's the one that he resurrected realized that she shouldn't be here. Yeah, she was she was a ghost essentially, and then he was like, okay, well, cool. So he hung with her. He was like, oh, I can't be with her because she's not there. I, I can like, see her. No, no, he, they're like, they are together, but they're not. Yeah, so you like you can't, you can't. That's as far as you can. You can't touch. She them couldn't anything. be with him, but he had to be with her. So. He had, he had to hang himself to be with her. Yeah. He couldn't be with her because yeah. he wasn't the same. <laughs> Death works one way. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a one-way street. Oh, there's, yeah. there's no there's no UEs on this one. Except you're Harry, apparently. <laughs> no, no, because Voldemort killed a part of himself in Harry, but not actually Harry. It's the whole thing. But anyway. Yeah. Anyways, so... So, they toss, has very touching conversation with his mom and dad, and then not Remus, so much, and Remus so is there. What? Not so much as that. His dad was just there. His dad's there. He says something. He says a few lines. But yeah, fucking Remus is there, and he says, your son. I was like, did they have the baby already? How pregnant was she when they first... Was she, was she on, like, four or five months when you took her on this death mission, Remus? What is wrong with you? At this moment, I'm trying to remember who Remus was. Remus was... is the third, your teacher, the werewolf. Ah, okay. Lupin. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. he died. Yeah. At the Battle of Hogwarts. Oh, okay. okay. And fucking, uh, he has serious things that hurt. He's, like, quicker than falling asleep. But, all right, that's, uh... Reinsuring. It's like, all right, cool. Probably like, like the best words so, I've heard since the whole ghost thing. Yeah. Like, like, that's oh, it. They will be with you the entire... Always, she says. You know, always. Lily says always. Mm-hmm. I'll take that back. Those are the best words. Yeah, yes. <laughs> then he goes, he drops out of himself into just the forest. He's like, we, you can't search for things and then just drop the Mary. <laughs> He's pissing me off with these death house, by the way. I'm going to get to this one. It's like, <laughs> whatever. He goes there. Voldemort's really upset that Harry didn't come. They even took Hagrid for him. It's like, all right, Hagrid's definitely gonna go. No, nope, no, nothing. I'm like, this one he beat. No, yeah, we ha- we haven't seen Hagrid. He was there since uh... the last movie. Was he in Deadly Hallows Part One? Yeah, he took Harry. Remember, he was on the motorcycle. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. So yeah, we saw the last movie probably. We haven't okay, seen okay. it since the last one. Cool okay, how okay. that works. <laughs> mm. <laughs> anyway, he's there. Then he turns around. Harry's there. Cool. The boy lives, coming to die. Oh, the irony. Ooh, that was a, a $10,000 line I just said. Yeah. Listen. Someone got paid to write that line. Listen, I said it earlier in the movie. The boy lived him to die. I get it now. And then they said it. I was like, it's for the right your father. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, cool, excellent. Let's fucking do a thing. Harry just closes his eyes. And then, oh, oh, boy, and then, let me tell you. When you've turned the brightness up so much so you can see something on a TV screen, when it goes to an all-white setting, boy, fucking at... Three o'clock in the morning. It's the, it's all up there. I was like, holy shit, Sherlock, what the fuck? Oh my god, it's so bright. So bright. I to fucking find the remote. So I was watching this, it, it, my room was dark too, and I was that one fish from SpongeBob that was like, my eyes. Oh, oh. Anyway, my so. Eyes. You see, he Harry's in a little, it looks like a train station. He King's looks Landing. Under, he, I'm sorry. King's Row. I'm sorry. King's Row. Game of Thrones mode. <laughs> Not King's Landing. There ain't no trains in King's Landing. They're very useful there. Anyway, <laughs> he looks under a bench and guess what? You see. Just a just the part of just nah, that's horrible. I was like, oh, why? Why did I need to see that? No one needed to see so, that. So are we going to explain what that was? It was, a, it was a part of his soul. Yeah. It was part of one more soul that he killed. Yeah, and then Dumbledore's there. It's like, what is that? It's like, that's beyond my help, Harry, and yours. <laughs> like, cool. Cool. So you have a, he has a conversation. He's like, is this... Uh, is this real? All right, like, happening in my head. Of course, of course it head. is. Doesn't mean, why can't it, it happen in your head? Doesn't mean it's real, though. Exactly. Yeah. Fucking, he t- explains to him some stuff about him knowing I had to die, blah, 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 whatever. Just explaining things we know at this point. Yeah. Then he still asks questions like, what do I do? It's like, Harry, if you don't learn how to do things yourself, 
He dead. <laughs> he is D E D dead. dead. I don't know why you're asking this ghostly figure. He's not helping you. He, he, he never gives you a straight answer anyway. Figure it out. You know what to do. Gotta fight Voldemort now. Yeah. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> and then if we go back, Voldemort. When Voldemort wakes up. You think like, what the fuck? Oh, that's weird. I thought the spell like I don't, well then again I would imagine it, that he I mean, would it, thought it, that he would kill the part of himself anyways. No, he didn't know that. Hmm. At no point he knew. He just he just uh, felt himself get weaker and then it fell over. And everyone else was like, um, Dark Lord. Did, oh my goodness! It's like did this happen again? <laughs> the second time he killed this kid and then he's falling. It's like what the fuck is happening here? But she's like, are you okay? He's like, get off I me. I don't need help. <laughs> yeah, I don't touch me. He looks he's like. They're like, is he dead? And then our sister was over to him, and she can she does the both. They're like, he's not dead. Draco, is he alive? He's alive. And then Harry does his small like nod. Super yes, slow like, nod. Like, cool. He's dead. He's dead. Cool. And our sister is like, I'm getting out. I don't want any part of this. Like, I can see this guy falling over. It's not much longer until he's dead. <laughs> like, I don't want any part. I'm just gonna get my son and bounce. Uh-huh. And so they cut back to Hogwarts. They're, you know, They're, cleaning up and... Neville has found a hat outside and he can see a glimmer inside of it. Hey, let's move on from somewhere, right? But we're going to get to that later. We're going to get to that later. Fucking, um... I thought it was, a, sword, it was a sorting hat, wasn't it? It was a sorting hat. Was it the sorting hat? It was a sorting hat. It might be a sorting hat. I don't know. He wasn't talking. He probably did. Okay, with that killing curse, you know? <laughs> fucking, um... Then all, them. all the Death Eaters and then fucking... Vold, Vold and Hagrid holding a dead body. Uh, yeah, Harry's assumed dead, dead body. Dead corpse is just walking across the bridge. He's like, Harry Potter is dead. And oh, everyone's oh, like, oh, no. Oh, no, that's later on. They do the laughing thing. Oh, well, yeah. Wait, is it the first one? No, no. no, no. Then he walks out and was like, um, whose body is that, Neville? Who, who is he holding? Who is he like, holding? It's like, hey, you know. You know who he is. You know, you know who it is. Then Harry Dave Potter is dead. dead. And then, yeah. Like, I, call me tits. Nah, that's Belcher straight. She's his height man, his right hand man. Now he, she is it's like when he said everyone step forward. You know how she gusts up on the pencil just like this. Like, come on, I was like, what the fuck is happening? Draco, my boy, come. Draco, come. Draco just seems like like he's so tired of being ashamed. Just like freaking being. He doesn't tossed. want. He, he wants none of this. He wants none of this business. Like, yeah, like okay. So this is the development of so, Draco Malfoy from. Little boy asshole just giving Harry a hard time. To someone growing literally up to done be with like, this shit. <laughs> growing up to be like, oh, hey, I'm a part of this thing now, but it's kind of tough. And man, I got to do it, I guess. And I kind of don't want to. My dad's kind of enforcing this upon me. To like, man, I really got to put some streets on my family's going to die. Note, I, will, I will note that he does not go when his mo- dad calls. He does go when his mom calls him over. Yeah. Like, Draco, come on. And he does that, and according to Tom Felton, Voldemort awkwardly hugging Draco was not scripted. But as an improvisation by Ralph Fiennes, Felton's reaction to stopping dead in his tracks, not knowing what to do, is genuine. Oh boy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because he just kind of, eh. there you go. <laughs> yeah, it really was an awkward hug, like a whole, I thought he was actually going to kill someone with the wand, because what he was hugging was like, yeah. I'm about to get over this for funsies, all right. Go, my boy. <laughs> anyway, so, cool. Then, also, there's, like, a... I think you told me this earlier or yeah. something, or I saw it on Tumblr or something. Servius Snape, I think, like, in Sorcerer's Stone or Chamber of Secrets, he forgot his line. Who? He, no, it was uh, Tom, did. Tom Felton, Draco. He forgot the... Uh, and it was uh, Chamber of Secrets when it was... Um, remember when they took the Apologies potion and looked like Crab and Goyle? Harry took it for uh, Goyle, but still had glasses on. Uh-huh. And then they were down there, we, Prefect, you're like... Why are you wearing glasses? Oh, library. I was reading. And he looked at him and was like, I know you can read. That was the line. <laughs> okay, that. Was, but no, no, no. There's it just so, says that. It was like, no, 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 no. There, <laughs> no, no. There was something with Snake, too. I remember seeing, yeah, it had to be on Tumblr there because he was like a repeating gift. Mm-hmm. So, I can't remember what movie, but Servant was talking to someone and it's like, as if he was like, and if you do it again, pause, pause, pause. He just looks and just walks away. And, you know, famous Snape fashion but Alan Rickman actually forgot his knife and it just worked as well as a character I, I, I'll find that again and I'll show it to you yeah, sure. I can't remember what movie is like huh that's pretty ingenious because that is literally like I haven't seen any of the movies well don't remember much of the movies but that seems mm-hmm. exactly as I remember how Snape behaving in Sorcerer's Stone and part of Chamber of Secrets that is ingenious it's pretty cool I think it's like an appreciation post for Alan Rickman when he passed away Maybe, maybe it was during that party scene because Harry does ask him where did Dumbledore go and he just kind of stops in there and just walks away. Just, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> cool. He's like, he's like, none of your business, right? Like, just like, I forgot, whatever. I don't know what she was. But okay. it, it, it was now. Now that I'm actually, you know, the fucking uh, fucking this Neville actor. Longbottom is stepping forward. And he's like, well, I w- hope we have better. And everyone's laughing. He's like, fucking Longbottom's a comedian. <laughs> yeah. It's like. I got a few words to say. What's your name? Neville Longbottom. They oh, all oh, oh, they all come here, I have a few words to say. And then he's like, I'm pretty sure we all love to hear what you have to say. It's like, well, it doesn't matter, Harry's dead. Because we all, he saw stuff is here. We still believe in him. The he's whole, you know, generic fam, <laughs> friends like, you know is strong and whatnot. The power of friendship is stronger. And then, you know what he does? He fucking pulls out the fucking <laughs> sword <laughs> door. And he's like, cool, let's go. And then, you know what happens after that? Fucking Harry jumps up and like, cool, it's time to go. And then, roll him out. The fuck? How many times do I have to kill you before you stay dead? <laughs> and he starts blowing shit up. And then the fucking battle's raging on again. And mm-hmm. like, everything is uh, fucking... Neville gets knocked back. He blasts the sword, but then gets flying back into the Great Hall. Yeah. Everyone's fighting again. Fucking. They got to kill the snake. They don't need to figure out. How. He's like, lure him into the castle so we can get the snake. That's what they got to do. So then it's a one on one with Vold and uh, Harry. Vold- Voldemort. Well, it's two on one because the snake's after him. <laughs> yeah. I, okay, I honestly. The stairways blasting each other back. And, like, I honestly thought when uh, Voldemort actually apparated behind Harry on the side of the snake, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, cool. So you're on the side of the snake, so he's gonna get killed, distract him, take your other hand with the fang that you had, mm-hmm. and just wait for the snake to get close enough and just go jack. No. Cause he actually blocked it off, like make the thing crumble. Like, all right, perfect. You got this, but nope, Vold had the op- yeah. uh upper he went, hand. He went to the side, it's like, all right, cool, I'm just gonna blast you from here. Then yeah. here he's like, he can hear it. and then he looks like, <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is like we one on one for uh what is the thing? Uh Python? Yeah. Uh, how do you go about, I gotta stab you with this. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like. Like, you don't want to do, you don't want to fight this thing face to face, because uh, they didn't end up with his name. We saw it, didn't, mm, boy, that thing, it, 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 it can back a bunch. <laughs> yeah. It, it's gonna those be right muscles back. are great for a movement for, like, you know, slow, and then just go, yeah. and then here we go, Quick. right? Let's fucking on it. Cool, so they're still fighting one-on-one. Then Hermione throws a rock at the snake, then the no, one knocks her right in the head. Cool, it's time for me to turn to distract you. They're just trying to distract the snake. And then here comes Ron. Fuck it. Butter. All right, cool. You got this. Ron's about to save the... Nope. Nope. So snaps at him. He falls. And, oh, yeah, when Harry fell over, he destroyed... Uh, he destroyed the uh, fang. But, fang. but hey, this guess what? Gone. We got to back the fang yep, from and then that's Hermione. Gone. And it's gone, too. All right, next yep. thing. Cool, it's time to fucking run. Let's bounce. The snake's going to kill us. We cut, we cut to a stand too. I'm just mixing stuff up in this battle. Whatever. We got Molly versus Bellatrix in the fucking castle. Not my daughter, you bitch, because she tried attacking Jenny. It's like, no. They did a very odd battle that, like, not a... But a... It's yeah. like, it's like, you're not fencing. Use your spells. But whatever. Yeah. Then she fucking destroys Bellatrix. Like, not even it turns just her into boof. dust. Like, okay. That's a, huh? that's a spell you know. <laughs> so, there's a lot of unspoken killing curses besides Avada Kedavra. Well, I mean, curses can kill. I mean, Avada Kedavra is just one specifically meant to kill. Yeah. You can kill someone with Crucio if you torture them long enough. But this one is like, it's instant death. It's... One shot, one kill. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I mean, like I said, was... remember when Jenny said Reducto into that thing? I was like, that's a destroying curse. I'm pretty sure that person's dead. <laughs> we were in, we were in the Phoenix. Listen. We were in the de- the Death Eaters. They were coming down as their smoke for him, and then Jenny did Reducto right into it, and it, yeah. it blew up. I was yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure that person died. It was like Reducto is Jenny. It's a destroying curse. Yeah, Reducto, like the thing that would. Hermione did when Prison Master had to destroy the sail that Sirius was in uh, to get the door out. Reducto, boof! That all that other uh, like it's just it causes destruction. So I'm like, she does okay. that on a person. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm just like, I mean, the person is not a seal to free. Uh, just uh, you know, death eater bits all over the place. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. Some there's curses that you can eventually kill. It's like they don't do emit pain. I mean, cause pain. So yeah, that will eventually happen. But anyway, so Bellatrix is dead. Cool. Uh, and then fucking um, they're fighting on these trying tower. He just like this spell. The one still not going to respond to you. And Harry already knows why because it's not. It was just Snape's island. Yeah. Which we'll take a pin out of something later too. No, no this leaves a pin. It's, it's kind of leaving. But anyway, so fucking um. 
So then he stopped attacking him. And he just get closer to her. And he was like, let's, let's, in, let's tell you again. It, together. And he tear, take, tear, takes this old man and throws him off the tower. With him. And he just starts flying around. And those two just, boop, they, get to, they get back in the courtyard. And they're just, boop, 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 boop. They're caught, they're caught to their wands. It, okay, I, I just want to say that the, the, the scene before they actually separate of Voldemort just like, and then he splits it in two. I'm like, all right, that's not near fuel. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> he was just happy and just smiling, so super much, creeping, like, there's uh. So, there's so much happening here. It's like, crawl, Jesus Christ. Right, and they crawl into their wands, and then they go. And then, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna start expect. I'm not expecting to expel the Robins because it does whatever you. No, they, they don't even speak. They it's it's spell the Robins. It's the same one that you did in the uh, first eight, one, the uh, top of the fire. Yeah. yeah, it's the exact same color, it's the exact same spell. But you know what they are. The yeah, Avada Kedavra, the only one, the only spell that's actually kept continuity this entire run, it's always been green. Mm-hmm. The expect. I mean, that one. Yeah. Has, oh, it's, yeah, Inspector Mortal. But the other one has. Um, expel the yeah. Robins has changed multiple times. Yeah. It was it, 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 it was originally green. But then it was like that. I, I actually would kind of imagine. Too. In this film, it changes context. But I, okay, <laughs> I, I honestly would have thought like a killing curse would be like a black spell as like opposing That's as the racist. ultimate. Huh? That's racist. <laughs> as referring to like the <laughs> ultimate big no-no insta-kill super dark spell. Ultimate darkness. Just Avada Kedavra in just like a puff of black or maybe purple. I don't know. So nah, that doesn't look good when they beam, when they're Dragon Ball Z and it, it's clashing beams to each other. When they're Goku Vegeta, when they're it. touching tips of magic. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have anything Anyways. fucking else? No, I didn't. I, did, so, I didn't have a lot of time to prepare. It's called your fault. So they're anyway, doing so yeah. this. And fucking um, Ron and Hermione are Ron and Hermione are running cornered. for their lives. They're cornered by a snake. It goes and guess who comes up? Fucking Neville. Freaking Neville just yes. yeah. swing Foof. It kills the Nag- Nagini. Nagini is dead. The last Horcrux has been destroyed. Voldemort feels it falls over. Then and Harry's like, "All right, this is my moment." And then they start bugging up. They start blasting. And then it's it one more much weaker now. It's all gone to his arms. Like no. And then he starts falling apart. He get he got Thanos out of this one, just like Bellatrix. Just <laughs> he didn't feel too good, Mr. Potter. He's <laughs> didn't feel too good, Mr. Potter. And then he's just kind of yeah. Voldemort's been destroyed. Hallelujah! The movie is not over yet. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh, it's still. Dude, cool. got like another fifteen. Day minutes. one. Oh yeah, I forgot to say during the, when they start fighting in, Mama Malfoy and Narcissa takes Draco. Oh, they, like, they, cool. they, they take off. It's time to go. Yeah, and they, they dip. And then Lucy is like, fuck this noise. This is how I look for myself, bitch. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I need my head and shoulders. I need my hair to glow again. Yeah, so cool. The I can't be outshined by my own son. My son's hair looks better than mine, and he Malfoy. played through more shit they made. Malfoy's, oh no. Lucy's, well, it, Lucy's with Asuka, man. You, you don't, well, things there do not compare. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Fucking, um. This where Harry things, goes back. This is where things start getting foggy. Oh, yeah, everyone's just kind of celebrating. Some people are still kind of sad. I still be sad because Red's dead. But, you oh, know, yeah. people are still kind of smiling like we, we did it. We well, At least most of us made it out of this one alive. Awkward no one. With not, Hagrid. No, yeah, that was kind of weird. And Harry just kind of see, walks it off into the green screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It's like so. Yeah, he's explaining like yeah. It, the wand was never Snape's. It was Draco's because Draco disarmed him. Remember I said, oh yeah, r- r- I forgot to put that in. Uh, uh, but I didn't forget to put it. I just said later. I was like, oh yeah, Draco disarmed Dumbledore. That's yeah. why I, I was like, put a pin in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put a pin in that because I was yeah, thinking so, that yeah, because uh, why, Dra- so mm-hmm. it was the wand was Draco's the entire time until. Harry disarmed Draco at their manner. So then, it but became, he he didn't disarm of that wand. But for some reason, wand, if you still... did disarm, I guess any wand that's toward you goes to that. Per- I don't know. But that's this since yeah, they they sense things. Yeah. So it's like, oh cool, you leave my last message, so I'm yours now. So cool. So You're they said, on. what should we do with it? We, I mean, look at we can be un- we can be unstoppable. We can be invisible with that. No, he said you could be. No, he said we. He kept oh. saying we. That's the thing. And they're looking. I was like, so cool. What does Harry decide to do? He decided to break it. Like, no, and smart choice. I would have done the same thing. No, yeah, because it can only belong to Harry. Yeah, I know. So you know what Harry did in the book? He buried it with Dumbledore again. 
but that way you can't get it. And also, it goes with his last owner who was killed with it. So I was like, yeah, there you go. So he did that in the book. Yeah. Okay. And here, dude, people, he snapped it, and people were like, huh? <laughs> I mean, at least that way. Like, I would, me personally, I would have kept it myself. <laughs> I would, I, I mean, it might be helpful to have around. Yeah, but it probably would have, you know, you probably would have had the same fate as someone, uh, as the first guy who had the We are one. all going to die eventually. Nah. Listen, hear his face death so many times. You know, you know what you do? Grab up an invisibility cloak. You go out back there. You walk up, get to you get to find wherever you drop the resurrection stone. You take both those, wrap up the city cloak. You bury it somewhere, never to be seen again. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. But at least just like know that hey, it's like a riddle for if I don't know four hundred years in the future. If you need them again, they'll be around. Let's say a new dark lord pops up and like man, if only I had some way to beat him. Oh, yeah, remember that really powerful one I broke and then threw it off? Man, that would be great to have around, but whatever. We digress. And then, so, so, cool, they say nothing it. and they walk away. Mostly because I'm pretty sure they didn't know what the fuck to say. Well, not really walk away, but that's then they hold hands. And then 19 years later, yeah, no. so, I did the math. So, he was 17. 19 years later, he's 36. Yeah. Okay, now here's the second most egregious thing this film does. It is... The old, I mean, the old, the grown Older. up, the grown up makeup they put on literally every character Everybody. there. Someone approved this, and I'm just like, this, n- none of this looks right. It, it doesn't. They all just look they look like bad. kids playing. They dress they up. look horrible. Jenny looks horrible. Fucking Ron Hermione looks horrible. Looks, Hermione looks horrible. But Harry she's still great. Draco and whoever he's married we, to. We, we had a, a glimpse of Draco. I'm like, huh? Draco's there, yeah? Yeah, I know. She's the guy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all just look bad. It, it, it all looks bad. And then he, Harry's taking his son, his second son, to his first... His, uh, second and, son? Yes. Because they, a, they, there are two children there. There was the first one who went through. That was his his first son. The second uh-huh. son is uh, his son. And here's the first number one most egregious I'm sure, thing. I'm pretty sure we're thinking the same thing. Albus, Albus Servus Potter. Dumb. Oh, dumb, dumb. I was Albus say, Servus Potter. Potter. You are named after the two greatest headmasters of heart. I'm like, I hate, I hate that those, name. Yeah. I don't care the reasoning for the name. I hate the I name. Don't, mm. It's dumb. I hate it. And you know what the other, his first child's name is? Because you're not going to hear this. Now, he has three children. That's two true. Boys, three children, one girl. The girl who was with oh, Jenny, yeah. that's his daughter. That's, that's a, yeah, three, yeah. Two, two boys, one girl. The first one is James Sirius Potter. I mean... I'm... No. No. No, I can't just... I can't, Albus I... Servus... James Sirius Potter. Albus Servus Potter. Lily Luna Potter. I Luna?! I I, I, I I don't know. <laughs> I, Luna? 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 Luna. Luna's alive. Luna. What about Lavender? Lavender died. Luna. <laughs> Luna. <laughs> oh, apparently Neville's crazy about Luna, too. Cool. What? Huh? Wait, what? Remember he's like, in the battle, he's like, have you guys seen Luna? Why? Oh, I yeah. have to go find her. I'm, cra- I feel like I'm crazy about her. We might die by morning. It's just like... Wait, yeah, that's what every girl likes to hear. Man, we might die. Want to be together for that little bit? I'm like, man, we're desperate at this point, huh? I'm like, the last man on earth is like, yeah, that's cool, but Luna. <laughs> I mean, Luna's, Luna's, uh, sec- listen, Luna's, Luna's, Luna's great. second best girl. Luna's great. But naming your children after her? No. 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 How did her, how, uh, uh. See, George's was free. How did, uh, uh, I'm keep. Thinking Hermione, how did Ginny agree to this? How did Ginny agree to any of these? How did these actors agree to this makeup? What is wrong with this scene? This movie falls apart after they cut 19 years later. <laughs> I don't, I don't, okay. Never do that. So, so wait, 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 but, 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 but Ron and Hermione's kid is. I don't know their names. No, you I, said one I, of them. Oh, wait, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was naming all of Harry's kids. I'll leave one think the egregious name the other ones are there too. I remember, I remember reading the book, it's like, what? <laughs> but George's son is Fred. Yes, that one's sweet. 
You yeah, get that, that one. one. Sweet. Yes. The I other totally ones are just like, nah, because you named after two people, and that's weird. It is. I mean, I would have. It would have been okay if you like. I don't know. Uh, James. Uh, uh, Albius. No, 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 no. Because that's still Albus. You're still naming. Still two names. names. Still name people. Stop just them. name them. Albus Potter. Or not. Or, you d- no, the thing was like. You know, growing up, it's like, okay, I didn't know Dumbledore that well. I don't, I actually couldn't trust him all that well. I could trust him and I knew, but in the end, he's kept a lot of secrets. He did a lot of bad things in his life, apparently. Oh, yeah, appar- yeah, we never got to that. We never got to that. You get, 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 read a book, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that shit is. So, in that point, it's like, why name your child Albus? I, I literally choked on, I choked on my person. Juice, but- who was obsessed with your mother to an almost creepy level. <laughs> I mean, we got I all... know it was, in a context, it was sweet, but also in another context, men, that's creepy. <laughs> and this is as creepy as You didn't also, also didn't know Cerberus all that well. You hated him up to the last five minutes. <laughs> Why <laughs> did you name your children up? <laughs> Serious? You got really close to a guy you barely knew. <laughs> James, why are all these names these names? I mean, in this context, you know what? The only one that made sense was Luna because he knew Luna the longest out of all of them. One of the servants the longest, but Luna the best. Fuck. It, it, the movie, it just... I'm looking at this scene, it's like, I can't take any of this seriously. The makeup's horrible. The... Oh, ah. <laughs> The names are stupid. Whatever. The movie ends. <laughs> the movie's over. They Christ. The Hogwarts jingles off. Da, 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 da. And by the way, the, 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 the theme back. has been in, it's been in the title thing. Yeah, it has. I, 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 I was reading it, I was like, what the fuck was calling your title? It's been every theme. <laughs> it's been the, when the Warner Brothers logo pops up, that's when it is. Da, 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 da. But this is the only one that opened up without it. I read that as one of the facts. It's like, this is the only one that opened up without the theme, but it's been in every film. Okay, okay. Just not in his scene. Um, uh, fuck. Fuck. Man, that last little part took a lot of energy out of me because, yeah, stupid. 19, never. If you are anyone making a story, make sure your story takes place in that time frame. Don't do the jump to cuts. Every time. Every time it's like, well, either your story could have began here or it should have ended before you cut time. Every time. Like, let's use a classic one that I've watched recently, Venom. Venom has a point where they cut to six months later. And I was like, the movie could have started here. At no point did I need the first, like, that could have all been arranged in here somewhere. It didn't need to happen, whatever, but whatever. 19 years later. (laughs) Oh. So that's the end of that and the end of the Harry Potter adventure. So Harry grows up and he becomes an aura, which people were upset about. Maybe want to be a magic oh. cop, a detective, oh, as oh, opposed oh, to oh, 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 what? Huh? Or remember the auras, the uh, guys who went hunt dark wizards or whatever, like Mad Eye Moody and all them. Oh, okay. Yeah. You um, the game our game. fucking Ron's dad. Uh, th- people were kind of disappointed about that. They were like, shouldn't he become a defense against a dark arts teacher? Or, I don't know, head of Hogwarts, you get to know? I mean, maybe that. Mary don't think her money should do that. The headmaster of Hogwarts did before we have to minister magic. But I digress. So, yeah. Oh, so. Woo! What an adventure this was. I enjoyed this movie a little bit more. I, 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 I like, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I mean. Things were happening, things were moving. Like, hey. That last part, those yeah. that last part is just egregious. The uh, nineteen years later, it it, it it the movie comes. It's like the movie's already ending, and then it's like, how do we go to? How do you slam on the brakes going five miles per hour? I don't know, but they figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a, a great. Uh, an, mm. That's my analogy to EA press conference this year, and it's the my analogy of Harry Potter and fucking. <laughs> We all are too. Five miles an hour. No, I'm gonna try that. See what happens. You know what? I'll probably end up 19 years later. Every oh, Christ. 
So anyway, so oh, let's geez. do this thing. Guess what, everyone? We're ranking the villains here. Vol Just Voldemort himself. Just Voldemort himself. All right, cool. We're replacing Voldemort for Deathly Hollow Part 2. Wait. D-A-P-1. I forgot to do that for the space Nazi. I know it. That damn it. This, the Nazi wizard! There we go. Christ. Uh, I can't say it. I keep saying space Nazis. I keep thinking stormtroopers. No, they're death eaters. They're Nazi wizards. Wizard Nazis. Whatever. Where are we putting Voldemort? Because the deputies really don't play anything that says like they're just cannon fodder at this point. They're, they're, they're extras. Not, yeah, actually, yeah, they are extras. There are a lot of just like, whatever. So where are we putting Voldemort? Just Vold. Oh, I should read the list. Number uh, <coughs> number six. Number seven, we have Voldemort's Nazi wizard from Deathly Halls Part 1. We got... Number six, we got Professor Quirrell slash Voldemort from Sorcerer Stones. Number three, uh, fuck it, Doug. I need to. Number five, we got Peter slash the Mentors slash Prisoner of Azkaban. Number four, we got Tom Riddle and the uh, Chamber of Secrets. Number three, we got Dolores slash Volve in uh, Order of the Phoenix. Number two, Voldemort and Death Eaters in uh, Goblet of Fire. Number one, Death Meat from Half Blood Prince. <laughs> Where are we putting Voldemort from Deathly Hollows Part 2? I think he deserves a number one spot. I don't think he deserves number one spot. Maybe number two did. He's doing a lot of dumb things here. Well, he's orchestrating stuff that's I causing... Mean, I mean, yeah, but he's doing a lot of dumb things like killing your minions. I hate... I always say this. Like, they just, the bad guy's got to kill his minions to show how bad he is. It's like... Well, he's I got, mean, like, plenty of spare. If he did, if, I mean, yeah, but also if he didn't slap around the mouth boys so much, they would probably have helped him out a little bit more. Then they just kind of, like, we're bouncing. Well, actually, I would have been, a, like, a great thing for Car Draco's uh, redemption arc there. It's like, when Harry is fighting him, for Draco to also join in and help fight the Voldemort in that last scene. Mm -hmm. That would have been great, but too bad we don't get that. Too bad we don't get adaptations of books. We only get slight, literally little, very different sets, but everything else would be book. It's like, I mean, have Draco come back. Like, no, I have to do something. And then after he's like, just take him all for his family. And it's like, oh, there you go. I mean, did you have to win? No. But did you have to die? No. Have him, like, blast one more in the back real quick. Just, yeah! Yeah, have him. You little bitch! Yeah. I'm gonna get you! Yeah. I thought I could have that be the moment. Have that be the moment that distracts him for a second and then gets Harry the upper hand in the fight. Yeah. There it is. How hard is that? But whatever. So. <sighs> Fuck a duck. So this Voldemort. Uh, where are we going to put these? I Death think. Meat. <laughs> I think a number three spot for Voldemort. Right above the lore slash Vold. Because I honestly enjoyed <clears throat> from what I saw of him more in um, Goblet of Fire. Because he actually had a point that went through with fruition. This one, he was just doing things because he was dying. Out of this. I hear he's like, everyone's like, oh, like he's weak. It's like, no. Maybe he knows he's dying. Like, no, maybe he, it's like he's wounded. I was like, I mean, I know Harry's going for like a wounded animal because that is yeah. most dangerous, but also a wounded animal is still dying. That's yeah. like, so don't tell Ron no. It's like, well, yeah. He's like, yeah, but kind of, but more like he's wounded. Just yeah. do that. Don't say no. It's like, well, Kind of right, right. Though. yeah. If Ron, Ron really has these moments. Or <laughs> don't. <laughs> not exactly. I mean, like, I would have been probably been better to say like not exactly. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so, so you were. Uh, it's gonna be a third. It's gonna be a third every time. Uh, all right, I'll compromise. Two, I'll compromise with you and put number two. I, I agree with number two. Voldemort not, from that two. That. Deathly Hollows. D H. Part two. Yeah, that's it. Dab. dab. No, dab. Dab. Yeah. You're D -A saying that. D A H P. The H is silent. Once again, you're pronouncing it like there's an A in there. And there's no A. Oh, then D H P. Pronounce it as if there's an A. The H is silent. No. Pronounce it like there's an A. The H is. Si <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> like the like an dab. A. The H is silent. Where is the A? <laughs> is the, the A invisible? Hollows. Wait, D H P. How are you pronounce? Just you, don't, you wouldn't. Just. 
Well, okay, shut up. Part two. <laughs> All righty then. Now it is time to make the make the rank the goddamn movies. Number seven, we got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secret S. We number six, we got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Number five. We got Deathly Hollows Part 1. That's Harry Potter. I'm just going to say the last ones because it's way too much to say Harry Potter at the beginning of them. You know which one we are. Number 4, we got Order of the Phoenix. Number 3, Half-Blood Prince. Number 2, Prisoner of Azban. Number 1, Goblet of Fire. Where are we putting Deathly Hollows Part 2? Yeah. I'm putting it... Goblet of Fire is still going to be like the number, number one. one. Number 1. I think I would put it number 4. Number 4? Under Half-Blood Prince. Above Order of the Phoenix. I mean, the movie moves at a nice pace, but it's like, man, this pace is a little too fast for finding literally all the MacGuffins. Yeah. They found the, they, they lost the Sword of Gryffindor and refound the Sword of Gryffindor. They found the Elder Wand. They got the Elder Wand from Voldemort. They found the Resurrection Stone. They found one, two, th four Horcruxes. <laughs> one movie. Like, like I said... Harry the Potter first one they hot spent four one, horcrux. The first that part one they found one horcrux. This one they found four and three. And, 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 you know what? All now, you know what? Now this whole freaking symbol with the triangle circling and lining in the middle that I've been seeing around that represents Harry Potter. It doesn't really show much of a significance to me anymore. I thought, like, oh, okay, so maybe it's like the symbol of like some sort of clan of Harry Potter or something, I don't know, or like some group, some badass group. No, just the no it's, death just the, death it's just the Deathly Hallows, that's... It's the people who... That believe, we've seen... It's the people who believe in the Deathly Hallows, that's what it is. Believe in the Deathly Hallows. Because remember, it's a, it's a child story. But would be like, no, there's something more to this. Like, clearly there is, but, you know, legends get passed down to children. So I mean, like, time. like, like, the way how these, this movie has been moving. You would have thought it would have been more, but... Yeah. Like, no, Once I, again... I, would, point, have I, about, I, I like, would not even want to get that. I would rather also, have the freaking Mark of well, Voldemort tattooed on me. Listen, I mean, that's what I thought, dude. But also, you'd be like, hey, why is hey, why is it called Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? The Goblet of Fire is there for five minutes, and then it's the Tribes of Tournament for the rest of it. Why it's not Harry Potter and the Tribes of Tournament. Tournament? Yeah. Why is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince? The Half-Blood Prince has very little to do with the story. <laughs> it, it's the book, and... I know it's the book, but the book has very little to do with the story. Kill, kill, kill. Wait, 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 wait. Snape is half blood prince. Yeah, but he's half born. He's half blood. Snape just named. He's not a prince of any sort. He just named himself a half blood prince. That was his. That's, that's his. his. That's his, that's his high moniker. school moniker. I. He okay. was going through a very edgy phase in his life. Oh yeah. You see all of the spell he made up. Severus. Sectum Sempra. Sectum. I need to remember. No, you don't. Sectum Severa. Sectum Sempra. Sectum Sempra. Yeah. And um, it just <clears throat> hurts. That means it cuts you a lot and you bleed out. Yeah. Who do you think he was using to try to plan to use that on? Hmm? Who do you think he was planning to use that on? Probably Dumbledore. No. no I'll no, give no. you two guesses. Oh, Dumbledore. no, 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 no. <laughs> Games. Yeah, there was. Also, I noticed there. McGonagall's there using the sword of hand when there. It's like, is McGonagall always old? <laughs> she put the, the sword of hand on Lily. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? She's still there. How long have you been in this position? Also, I... I she becomes a new headmaster after this also, battle. Also, I uh, noticed that McGonagall's... Uh... You got this. Left eye. <laughs> what was all that? I was starting to get it right. You got what your left was? <laughs> yeah. Collier. Like, all right. My... Collier? Yeah. Wait. Oh, you're trying to figure out what her left was, not yeah, your left. Yeah, her left. Okay. I, okay, like, so it was like, on wait, this side, but it's my right. Huh? Just, just do the L trick, figure out your left. No, no, no. I, I, like, I was seeing, I like, mean, on she, the okay, right okay, side. I'm looking at you. Yeah. It's always reversed, so the one that's not an L will be their left. Yeah, I, I was going through a brain for like, how am I going to do this? <laughs> but her left eye uh -huh. was kind of, a little bit more like, was that like makeup or like, did the, the, the actress 
grow older, and that just happened to well, like, I mean, she's, she's, her. Al- she's already old. And also, yeah, no. breast cancer, too. Get her a little break, asshole. Oh, okay. I mean, we went to this I, asshole. I, 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 I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I thought about that. I thought about that. only just had a bout with death in one. <laughs> Get the fuck off of here. I thought that it was... Uh, the anyway, makeup. where are we I thought it was makeup. makeup. Where are we ranking this movie, Collier? I said where I would have put it. Where do you think it should go? After Azkaban. Azkaban. I say under half blood print. You say above half blood print. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. Under half blood. All right, cool. I still do a half blood. Yeah, I still do it too. Cool. So, the new ranking stand. I'm not saying Harry Potter. You know what they are. Number eight, Chamber Secret S. Number three. Seven, the numbers have changed on me now. <laughs> so sure so. Number six, Deathly Hallows Part One. I'm glad they have numbers in them now. <laughs> Number five, Order of the Phoenix. Number four, Deathly Hallows Part Two. Number three, Haplet Prince. Number one, Prisoner of Azkaban. Number one, I said number one twice. Number two, Prisoner of Azkaban. Number one, Goblet of Fire. <laughs> Uh, I didn't even notice. That was- I think I did. I might have said that in my head and fucked up and confused myself, so I went backwards. I said that. Shut up. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. And join. Make sure to join us next week as we uh, come nearly come to a close. We go to the penultimate episode of the Wizarding World Review for now, which will be the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I gotta find a DVD. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. You have HBO. You have HBO now on here, right? Yeah. It's on all HBO now. Oh. And I'm really glad it is, so I don't have to buy it. Because <laughs> I hate that movie so much. <laughs> I can't wait to see who's the new bottom of the day next year. Now that you've seen it, now you get to go through the people who had already seen Potter. Like, you walked out and enjoyed that movie. I the people who had already seen, like, all the Potter one day were like, hmm. <laughs> and now you get to go up in those eyes and like, That's what they were talking about. What is happening? <laughs> because I know, it, understandably, it is a prequel. Yeah. But as someone, as an audience that has sat through eight movies, you expect a certain, like, all right, cool, so there's going to be an explanation, like, this is, wa- this is why it's necessary to tell this story. And it's like, we'll get to that later on, and there goes the movie. Another tease set up for you all. <laughs> so, yeah, join us then, and, uh, call your sign us out. I'm tired. Thank you for joining us. I have three hours to sleep. It has been... This this Harry Potter universe... It's not, it's it's not, not Potter it's universe. Not, but this arc, Harry Potter's arc, it is finally over. And now we'll move on to a new one, as he said. Thank you for joining us. Newt Scamander, Dumbledore's friend, apparently. We'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, stay awesome. Thank you for joining us in this video. If you want to find us online, you can always find me with one name on all platforms, Credons Argata. You can find Isaiah at... On Instagram and Twitter at Isaiah Pitcher and Jelani at... Jelani underscore Pete on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And of course, follow Fighting Wombat on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, Stardust, and Patreon. $1 tier for poll access, $5 tier for early access, and $10 for full and exclusive access. And links to all this will be in the description below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to get notifications when our new videos are up. And we see you guys in the next video, but in the meantime, stay awesome.